What the NH is this? We got Grand Blue on rollback. Welcome back, everyone, to Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising Tournament. And we are here. If you can spot the difference between the old uh, on guard tournament and this on guard tournament, I'll give you a burger sticker or something different. You have like 20 minutes to spot what is different between this tournament and the previous one. Tip: Look at the key arts. Look at the. Uh, tourney titles and whatever the arrangements and stuff if you can spot it I'll give you a present The first one to find it Gets the uh, gets whatever like so anyway stream matches are up on star.gg uh, And you can definitely find uh, everything on the site the stream matches you can see a large ass twitch logo So I'll ping you call as for matches in the channel if not go play your matches first and uh find in your final matches channel just go ping everyone and stuff hi mr exalber welcome i know you don't play this game too but uh yeah thank you thank you thanks for the support this game is plenty fun and uh, i think it's a great point for people to play if they want to improve so go to the game i've been shelling this game like crazy by the way i mean like, i'm like grand blues southeast asia is like grand blues strongest warrior and I have the Ladiva vision, I'm like, yo, ha. <laughs> so round one pairings are hilarious, I tell you that much. The first one we're gonna have is Minimals and Float Water, though. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I haven't had Float Water in ages. So we're gonna have him right now. That's perfect. So uh, let me ping Minimals Float Water. P1, P2. Password, Zoe. Mm. So the room code is, uh, the room code is Zui as always, and it's pinned in the channel. So if you guys don't know where it is, you can go find that. Remember, is the green platform. Tell me your thoughts on this game, guys. We we got people here watching. I know not all of you are playing your matches. I know some of you are waiting. So do tell me what you think about the the game in general. Like other than the BS, there is BS. But I like this game overall. Let's see. No, wow, well, it's not it's not the difference GPBS logo. Other than that, that's too obvious. <laughs> Let me swap the music too to the lobby music because we know we like a bit of lobby music going on in the grand blue. Oh yes. Missed us so much. And uh Minimos is me next to me dead. If you if you can't tell. Let's let's show him. <laughs> and I'm usual, the threatening jeters. As always. Oh wait! Don't start yet. I forgot to change one option. I completely forgot about this. But thank god I remembered it. Um I am sorry guys. There there's this one setting that uh is dreaded if you're if you have any rollback game and shit. So I need to Where is it? There's this uh spectate setting. That uh, that allows you to catch up, but I don't know where it is. So if anyone can help me, that will be great too. Uh, playback settings is regular speed. Okay, never mind. I found it. I'm gonna remake the room now. Thank God. I was like thinking I forgot something, but what was it? Now we do. Right, Re-enter. Mm. Yep. Ooh, thank God I remember that. If not, you guys will be like watching in fast speed. And yes, Laffy, it is Grand Blue. We all love this game. Uh, it's more like me and uh, five different people playing the game on and off. <laughs> when the Grand is Blue, we're rising. Yes, indeed. Rin. We got rollback in this game, so unfortunately, some people are gated out. There's no potato mod so far, so gotta, gotta wait for people to make it, I guess. Hmm. Yo, 866L, need to change you all to... Um, I don't know, a lot of it just looks like skill issue, honestly. You're kind of notorious so far, by the way, Levenark. And also, if you're bad at the game, just join, love. It's a learning experience every time. <laughs> uh, where is Float? Yep, we got Fairy over here. That's Minimals, alright. <laughs> Very, very cool. Just waiting on some people. If you have any issues, do ping me. 
uh, if not, also if you're late, I'll just DQ your ass. So uh, we got quite a few people here. Um, ping me. And two men. And some people are not there, so we gotta we gotta find other people. Da -da -da. Losing because shit reactions. How about uh, there's a way to play around shit reactions? I'm just gonna say this, alright. But it's okay. Can start. So we're gonna have our first game between Floatwater and Minibus. Both players relatively new to this game, but are not new to each other in Strive, especially. And if you didn't notice, I had to change back to my old mic because <laughs> sent to repairs, you know. And then you notice the new overlay for this game. Oh, I love this. Change the colors a bit. Change the layers a bit. The BPs are a bit pain in the ass. I admit. No, it's not the mic that's different. But uh, we are off to a great start from Minimus. Keeping the corner, but he does not anti air correctly. I wonder what he did in the air. But here we see the strong nature of that shell. Just able to take space so efficiently. But that's not only uh, like generic characters that benefit, right? Some characters like um, Ladiva, Beelzebub suddenly gain the ability to take space real quick. And that's the really dangerous part about this game. Just changes so many dynamics. And here you see typical fairy gameplay chipping out with the whip. And look at that far out, just so, so long. Minimus goes to the other side and the close edge counter hit. This is... Quite a dangerous character, and I've been recording this whole time. One gigabyte gone. <laughs> and look at that length. Lots of RPS between the characters. And the DP going through, just gonna defend themselves. Sorry for the pause, gotta look at the turnies also. One man heal. But look at that. What a confirm and look at that damage. It is quite you might not say it's a lot, but in this case, Floatwater does have 100 meter gonna convert off it. No, he's just gonna push him to the corner. Gotta watch out. Menomos can die in one hit now. The game changes so quickly, man. And one thing to note is that uh Minimus has been doing to you, like the sweep into um into the whip so every time he gets a knockdown he actually does not benefit from the knockdown he's gonna transition so he gets to into super float water will bring it back one to one quite slow game so far i'm surprised because um as you all know right in this region we are not known for the slow gameplay a lot of people just like to unga bunga in you know so that's that minimals again take a good uh tempo at the start Oh my god, that's the knock! No EX though, that is huge! And the Protect, not gonna keep the momentum and does not get the Suigetsu knock. That's the new, uh, Setsu not knock. That's the new thing they added to Rising compared to just on hit. If you're closer, you do like boop them a bit with Namaya. That's the sweep. Gonna take some space, but DP does not get the BD. Alright, that's... Oh, he's not gonna take the space, but gets the sweep against Normaya. This is again another favorable situation. Goes for the overhead. Not a lot of damage though. Yes, Beppo. Great choice because his area unblockable. Oh, that is so scary. The delay situation and Floatwater attempts to get out but Minimals will say no to those gimmicks. We'll go 1-0 ahead. This is first to two. So Floatwater does have time to adapt to it. And look at that web. That's the thing about Setsuna and Normaya in general. You do want to confirm your hits. You can't just uh, do 2 3 6 L and Genji mode and expect to get a good situation after. That is really close, and that's the problem with Normaya. If you're too close to him, don't switch your stats. This is the hit you're gonna get. The mix up goes for the high. And then the corner, medium Beppo. 6 6 L gameplay. And that's the gap. The gap gets DP. And Normaya switches to Genji. Special Castle, super close distance. DP on negative. Again, Minimus keeping his distance. Gets the pop. And lock him in down. Oh no! Will he optimize his combo? I don't think he does, but still, he does the super. 
and zero BP that will kill. <laughs> that is so much damage. <laughs> Still gonna kill, but could have gone for more. If you have seen uh, the damage potential of Narmaya, it is way higher, especially with the new system. Float water does not confirm the hit into auto combo, but that is fine. And <laughs> there you can see some players not too used to Narmaya not having proximity normals, but that's fine. Ooh, can't dodge the dash buttons. Remember, this rising. That just have super short recovery. Does not go for the high and eats the DP instead. Oh no. Minimal is lo losing one BP. This could be really dangerous if he does not maintain tempo. But he does have a solid like 30%-ish life lead. Nice interrupt on the Setsuna. And another one. Yeah, the risk isn't too high for Minimus, but Float Water is an SSB range, so any hit will kill. Just gotta watch for it. The DP, the punish zone, but no confirm. This is gonna be so bad. He does not recognize that. M Sasuna S plus. Will he go for? Oh no! He does not finish it up, but gets the low. That is one one for these two players. Yes, we can hear the Discord, you are correct. Because I do need to hear it sometimes. I will put it on streamer mode. Mm. Ooh, okay, that's the Setsuna going to the other side. The cross-up, not really the value here. The main value is really deterring uh, characters with uh, less than uh, um, less than bar and tears, let's say. Minamo's just focusing on the poke game, not getting a lot of mix-ups down, actually. He's getting, like, two per game, which is not too much, like, two to three per game. And Floatwater is mainly using a lot of pokes, which is which is fine, but no, Maya has really shines in the corner when she uses the Kagura stance. And the dodge is going through. It will put you in a frame disadvantage. You gotta be careful, Float Water. Tries to jump out of that. Gets hit by it, but no at here. This is huge. The third around. Will he use BP? He does. And it goes for the super. Yep. And look at that damage. <gasps> oh man. This goes super bad for Minimal so far, but. Float Water does not manage to enforce the mix-up. Now he's in the corner. Definitely a bad situation so far. Changes back to Genji, but what can you do? And the install goes through, gets interrupted. Oh, that's the punish. Yeah, gotta watch out. Sessina is not that great of a fireball. In fact, it's one of the worst. Teleports forward. He actually goes for it. Minimus just needs one more hit, but he's gotta be careful. Chip damage coming through and slaps him. No Sessina for you. Pretty sure he wanted that install for the uh, instant overhead mix-up. Oh, gotta watch that. The sweep does not catch him. No anti here as he walks backward. Gets a slap. Okay. Nice. Does not link, but still gets an advantageous situation. Forces him to use the guard point. So if he eats an SSBA, that's a zero BP SSBA. But Float Water does get the hit. He's gonna generate super in time. Waga sets it up, but does not go for the super. That's fine. Forcing the pressure with the Kagura stance. Switches back to Genji. Good choice, but Minimals gets the hit. Will he be able to get off the corner? Oh, but a bit of a hesitation there. Does get the knockdown, but special cancel set. Nice use of the fire oh, and the dash out. Oh, do not recover in time. Uses ultimate Beppo. A bit slow with those inputs. And again, another great punish from Fairy using that far L. Gets the slap. Look at that chip damage. No idea. It feels again. No. He does not use Beppo, so it's gonna be a fringe situation. Gotta be careful. Standing next to the Nomaya is not a good look for him. Why are you standing? Why are you hesitating? What you're doing? Okay, goes for the DP. Finishes him off. Minimals barely slips past. Good choice to use that end here. Neither they are unblockable. And time for me to go do my TO duties. Thanks for SJ to getting getting rid of some people. But yes. Here we are. Yes, yeah, first you two. <laughs> yes, it is first you two. 
So I will update their scores. Oh, GG to Minimal's taking 2 1. A bit close. But it is what it is. Float water. Nice try. So let me de give some people. So it's balls back. Sorry if you're here at Discord, but I do need to hear some people pinging me. <laughs> yeah, very fun character to watch in general, but uh, there there are actually a lot of ways to play fairy. I would say you can see Mochi, right? The bro is like undefeatable. Yes. Okay. Sorry for the pings again, guys. Uh, I prefer if they didn't and put everything in the TO chat. So that I can keep track of it, but it is what it is. Mm -mm. Sorry for the inconveniences and the slight annoyances here and there. Again, feel free to leave your comments on the matches. Put your bets down. Do anything you want because we are a free nation over here. Glow versus Seo coming up next. Our previous winner and one of our most consistent uh, Kiseki series winners and one of the top players of this region playing together. P1, P2, password Zui. Mm. So Seo has been... He... I remember he used to play... Um, what they call that? Percy? So Percival is a really strong lockdown character. Just good at every single part of the game. And one of the major things that he was really good at was stagger pressure. In addition to like one hit confirming into like 90% of your health disappearing. Like 40 with one stock. So that was the really scary part about uh, Percival. Um, also due to the fact that uh, uh, all the light buttons are plus back then. You are, you are like um, 2 well stagger is like crazy. Oh he's playing Jita. Alright. Uh... Then start. But Percival now is kind of different. You can install way quicker now, but that is kind of compensated. F hmm? Why are they too close? <laughs> is that a bug? Okay, never mind. Whatever. We don't. We don't sweat the small details. <laughs> oh, gets them right away. And here is the danger I talked about. When it comes to a solid player, Glow might not find the windows. Previously. We could credit him to his hyper aggressive playstyle. Like that! <laughs> Just gonna do whatever. Crouch com cr crouching medium. Confirm less. Just gonna buffer the 214H. No fear of dying. And Seo focusing on the corner lockdown. It's fine if he uh, doesn't have the health using the medium record to take the space. Playing like vanilla. So one thing that's really different between uh, the old Jita, no, 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 not old Jita, my bad. Uh, Gran and Jita is the differences they play in in this game. So one major thing is that Gran really makes use of the 6XL changes. And uh, Jita plays more like vanilla. So you get to have a taste of that here. Look at that throw chip damage though. Seo really using that uh, guard cancel already to take the advantage. But Go does get the super. Game over! And Glow is in still a precarious situation because he does not have meter. Gotta watch out. Seo sitting there with 49, almost 50. He will have to focus on chipping, but you have to look at the cooldowns, by the way. Remember, look at the cooldowns of the Ice Spike. And look at that Reggie Nate. Tries to gimmick him out. Seo willing to play patient. And look at that chip damage. And... He's not gonna able, be able to do much. No! Okay, I was I thought he was gonna go for invisible reversal, but Sale does a delayed one on his own. Such control gameplay. And look at that dash out taking so much space. Goes for the tick throw. Safe jump. Never mind. Goes for the fake jump into low. Still confirms into full combo. Kore de Kimeru. And the sweep going right away. The aggressive. Oh. Oh well. Here we have our first connection error. <laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure I know which person uh, disconnected. <laughs> um, 
Um. All right then. Let me let me all tap back. They're gonna see a screen stutter. Hmm. Hmm. We we'll probably have to restart that round too. Uh. Restart with sail one round up. <clears throat> Oh, glow, glow DC. Once again, uh, so. Uh, so we might actually have to make uh, glow minus one right now for consistency's sake. Mm. Uh, so let's see. Well, there you, there you go. Southeast Asian internet. It wouldn't be Grand Blue without it. Am I right, guys? <laughs> ah, yes. Glow, you tell me if you can see the room or not. Because if not, we do need to... Oh, yeah, he's relaunching the game. So, we'll see. We're waiting. Seo is up one right now because he DC'd. That's that. Mm -hmm. we got to wait for that. And uh, match is going well. Remember to report in the reporting track, guys, so that we can keep track of who's who. <laughs> and uh, to some people watching from other countries, uh, welcome to the stream. This is one of our uh, most consistent series for Grand Blue. Although previously, we just kind of uh, rolled the ways on uh, how many people were playing. <laughs> and then we always did a 30 whenever people were playing. <laughs> Yeah, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, streaming here from Hong Kong, we cover all the areas from Southeast Asia to Hong Kong. No, I mean, Japan. Such a convenient location, if you think about it, it's busted. We got good internet. We got, uh, what do you call that? We, we got good connection to both Japan and the Vietnam. Like, we got, we got connections to all the sides, man. Okay, and there goes the spike. Not as plus as you think, remember. You need to play with the traps in general. And again, the glow special at this point. Just gonna mash 2M into the 214H. Gets popped, not into the trap. Sail diligent defense over there, the overhead. It is fuzzyable, guys. So gotta be careful. Yeah, use that light confirm for that case. And Sail very willing to use that brave counter. Not willing to take the hit. And here, oh, the baits. Probably the first time seeing it because bro doesn't even play the game. Far edge will clip him, but Seiwo gets out of the corner in the end. This is such an advantageous situation. And, oh, gotta watch for the trap. And trying to run forward. And, oh, does not clip that. Seiwo, zero BP though. And he's super prone to chip damage, taking 50% more from the sources now. Oh, confirm into the corner. And remember, Glow is also at 1 BP, so you will take a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, ignore the Steam notification. <laughs> and look at that. That is really bad situation for Glow. Does have the invincible reversal. And as I called it, he uses that to take back the game. Gotta be careful of that. Glow no anti here again. Nice block from Glow. Very patient. Blocking out the delay close edge. Seo trying to box him in. And again, Glow with the aggressive lows into the cancels. Just imagine if he uh, just walked in and blocked. That would be disastrous. And Glow is it's not the first time Glow has gone punished for that too. And the counter hit goes through. Massive plus frames. I side switch pushes back to the corner. Good choice. Charges up the stone too. Really useful for the neutral skips and whoop, gets bop and the finish glow will use the teleport catching him off guard. I wonder if he reacted to the um, teleport too quickly because it was a counter hit. Saw a button whip over there. So it'll be oh, they're not rematching. Okay. So, so it's going out for a character switch. Remember, guys, if you lose, you can character switch. This is like the norm. I usually don't care about character switches because people don't do that that often. Uh, but don't switch too much. I, I will allow you guys to switch. 
Just don't spam it. And here we have it, near a character I also play. And as one of the most knowledge checky characters out there, but people aren't even dying to the knowledge checks. They're just dying to the neutral that Nier can bring, but <laughs> Fuzzy Mash by Seiyo gets caught. And look at that. What a great start from Glow so far. And no confirms though. Glow, you gotta step that up. Can't make those mistakes. And Turney and the Ice Spike. Wow. Super important neutral to super strong. I don't know how the Japanese players just dodge it non-stop. They probably look at the cooldowns and then they dodge accordingly. <laughs> and here's the hard part about Nier is that just like Persona Displacement, if it's behind you, you can't get rid of it. <laughs> and oh nah, that forage was not intentional for that end here for sure. And look at that. Just gonna put the pressure in. And the sweep. So pushing into the corner real quick. And look at that, the life is actually not that different. And the grab. No safe jumps needed. And here, no. And here's the cancel. I'm not sure what route he's going for over here. Still, uh, mm, well, not optimal for sure. Uh, but there's zero health sale right now. So he can die to chip. Nice dodge. And too early. Sale will get sent to losers early on by Glow. Surprising. But here we have it. Now, our previous winner moving on to the bracket. That's surprising. Now, to be fair, one of them doesn't really play the game, but scuffles happen. Super scrambly. But here we go. Glow moves on. And let's see how long he lasts. It is a great narrative to see if you think about it. Will he be able to keep his standing from winning last time? Because last time there weren't that many people. And the veterans haven't come out. But now you have a mix of new and old players together. So we'll have to see. Early upset. Yeah, indeed. Mm. And you got the Glow fan base over there. All the fan service, you guys have it. Uh, Mr. Kurome, have you played yet? Let me, let me check. Mm, I need to check on someone real quick. Uh... I assume they're still playing. Let's, let's just let them play through first. So, some updates on the match. Next one, we got Magatsu versus Celine and Blazer versus Valteria. Valteria being one of the one of the Grand Blue supporters in the region. She not only plays the fighting game, she also plays the gacha game. My condolences to anyone who plays the gacha game. I'm glad being a secondary. I'm just I'm completely fine being in the fandom. I'm looking at like I'm playing Grand Blue on Twitter, basically that. <laughs> I am completely fine with that. I do not want to get into the the gacha game. It is it looks like a miserable experience. <laughs> Next one, we got Magatsu Celine. B1, B2. Boop. But Celine, I hope you're here. Because if you're not, I'll just DQ you. Where is Mr. Celine? I need to find. Uh, let me make sure I got that guy's uh, Discord correct. Because it's not in the mutual servers. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Password for streamed room. Sorry. Nice. Oh, okay. No, they're in there already. So not start yet. Let's just sort some things out real quick. Okay, never mind. They just started. That's fine. <laughs> they ignore me. The TO, the TO's power. Uh, let's just let them play. Thank you. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. And then, oh yeah, of course. We got, we got English Grand, by the way. <laughs> we got to number one English Grand enjoy. And then we have the strings here. Gotta watch out because Grand 2M. It's plus. And oh, he does not end the air that does not react in time. Oh my god, so you gotta be careful. And nice. Great blocks. 
and rising sword. <laughs> the, the English is like destroying my ears too about Harry. Don't worry. Gotta enforce the plus phrase. And look at that prismatic skin. That's what you get for being a character loyalist. And there is... This guy just comfortably dead, by the way. It's not even close. You get hit by one of those, you're dead. Granite's absurd damage in this version of the game. No longer is he overshadowed by Jita. He actually gets way more damage from many, many things, actually. Any hit is basically dead near the corner. You're eating 50% with a super. You don't even need the boon. Now it's 6 xl You get the sword hilt. But Magatsu being super impatient over there. I don't know what he was doing against the trap. Oh, no! He does not confirm it! That was so bad for for uh, Zelene. That going to EX boot was basically the end of the game. And that's the danger of Gran, I tell you, man. And why are you throwing? Oh, nah, my, what is Magatsu doing? That's the end of the round. Bro, it's matching like crazy. But ho here we go, third round, Zelene. On the cat. That's not anti-air once again. And the DP, that is definitely not the correct decision. And look at that, just because he did not um, confirm into EX boot the last round, the consequences is that he is in last round against a Kag with a 50% life deficit. But you can never tell what's going on with Gran. Does not know that he or can also react to the teleport, hit him with a super. And he is getting gimmicked over here. Let's see if he survives in time, but gets counter hit. I wonder if he fuzzy mashed. He got counter hit by the uh, brave count. No, uh, but the, the raging strike. So I wonder what's up with that. Ooh, this is looking super bad for Magatsu. He is not catching him, taking a lot of risks in neutral, and most importantly, just not checking the teleports. That's like number one skill check against uh, against Cagliostro. But does get that punish. Safe jumps. And jumping back. Magatsu not taking the space correctly. Why do you jump in? And a nice combo. Sending back to the trap. And very comfortable staying full screen. And one extra thing that Zelene can actually do is uh, use the rock to nullify the projectile. That would actually give him a lot of benefit. The rock is also one of Charlotte's best... No, uh, Cagliostro's best moves. Counter hit. No confirm. Gets the throw. No chip damage. Taking in time. Chooses to get out, but that's the wrong way to do it. Zelene will end it with a super. Gatsu losing his groove, taking a lot of risks. And then there's more to the game than just doing grand block strings because you have the uh, initiating power. Kagliostro, full screen presence. Oh, again. I don't know why you would jump there, but... That position was super scary for Bogatsu. No anti is again. And no punish on that airflow. Bogatsu's gonna eat a combo himself. And he's not getting rid of the ground trap shoot. He is completely stuck in there. He has no idea what to do. Oh, nah. Misses the combo. No confirm. Again. And finally, the punish. Bogatsu. Being super slow though, it is already in game point for Zelene. So he's got to be careful. Counter hit, unfortunately, not in the corner. It missed the confirm, man. That's that. Magasu will get 2 0 knocked down by Zelene. A massive fumble. And just a general lack of, um, what we call that, matchup knowledge in general. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Again. So, uh, Kurome will go fight Seo. Yep. Loser's bracket, get going. You got a long way to go. Next one. We got Blazer versus Valteria. P1, P2, password Zui. You know the drill by now. Uh, 2 h tiers have always kept been kind of big, though. As, uh, especially in the old game, it's, not, it's no exception. And it would be kind of pain in the ass to like have um, what do you call that? Having difficulty dealing with certain 
Moves. Although I do think that sometimes it's kind of BS. But it is part of the game at this point. Nah. I mean, first first things, you you have to consider, uh, Lebanon. I've, I've watched a lot of your games, even like off stream and stuff. You tend to just jump a lot. <laughs> you gotta jump less, man. Honestly. <clears throat> yep. And uh, next one we got Blazer versus Bataria can start. And uh, definitely love my Jita. Jita just looks insanely stupid in both games. And uh, tell me how you like the like the new HUD. Do you like? Do you want an instant replay feature for this game too? Like how I did for Street Fighter 6? If you want that, do tell me. And look at that. Insanely cute Jita. I love this skin. Just use it so much. Letting the intro rock. In and here we go. Oh god, Blazer just did doing <laughs> the DB kick right away. Yeah, you know you can spam that move. And that's punishable, that sweep. Blazer does not confirm into a larger combo. N neither does, uh... Does Valteria, but that EX record goes unpunished. Still manages to get off the corner. Maybe making use of the far M buttons. And, hmm. Yeah, Blazer is pressing quite a lot after the sweep, but Valtteri does not m manage to make much meaning out of that hit. In fact, she's getting locked down in the corner right now, forced to use the BP to not die. But now, what the situation after getting hit by the EX punch? And that's the super! And because she is a main character, her Reagan Lane takes two BP away. Look at that damage! And it is definitely doable for her now. Gets the full- Oh my god! Do you see the damage of that pro? What are you doing, Valtteri? You had a win situation there! Oh, nah. That is super unfortunate. Valtteri choked that round so hard. And, okay, uh, misconversion. Forgot that she did not have meter. And dunk! <laughs> Frying pan, boys! Drops that combo, though. That is quite huge. Because... Oh, what? What? What is this? Okay, guess that damage worth minus one dodges. Oh nah, that dodge caused Valtteri, and that's the confirm. That will be the first round done in a scrambly, scrambly game one. Sorry, Street Freeze Exam has always been plus. Will always be. <laughs> oh my god, that's the that's the kick I've been talking about. <laughs> It's just so hard to punish it. You just see it coming. Oh, and that's one. Uh, that's actually one situation where Jita's um, dash out is not as uh, sufficient as Grand, because on the plus seven hits, her two M is actually quite, not quite long enough for some situations compared to Grand, where you can always get it. And Valtteri getting locked down in the corner. Dunk. And nice creates a lot of space. Very healthy. And no. Blazer does not confirm, and Valteria does not anti here. Here's the confirm from the Raging Strike. Gunsai, but... And here's another dog. No super, but that super would reduce 2 BP out of Blazer. Oh no! That's gonna hurt. And oh, she gets rid of 50 meter! I don't know if that's the right move. Because a, D a super would have won like, from any hit, just buffer it. Here and there, but she's gaining so much meter. Look at her meter by moving forward. She gains a lot, but meter penalty applied. Moving forward with the EX record, gonna have 50 meter continuing, but she has nothing now. Just moving around, trying to not get hit. Oh, and that's plus. Oh my god, what a call out! <gasps> what? Oh man. All right, Blazer, using more of those sweeps. And in this game, uh, Bacho is super useful, especially after dash out where you're only plus two. I'm pretty sure it's armor frame four. So you can actually uh, just tank the hit afterwards. You can create a mini mind game at Valteria. Put in a tough situation, only one BP left. 
She also doesn't seem too enthusiastic on taking a return after the me the the medium and the light macho uh, million punches. Blazer flexing once again, qu getting quite a bit of chip damage going right now. Oh, and no whip punishes. Nice positioning by Valtteri now. But can she maintain it? No, she's moving back quite a bit. Whip punish with no confirm. All right, confirm that hit. Get that two PB gas out. No, what a huge mistake. Valtteri dropping combos here and there. Those are quite... Uh, those aren't even the hard parts. Run up clown counter hit to which I almost said counter hit. Jesus Christ. Chester and the reset. Didn't dodge and wake up. Both players down to one BP. Super volatile game so far. But they're just hitting him with random hits here. Sweeps and near. And both players zero BP. But Blazer will be the one to finish it off. Beeps here and there. We do six to free H. No, I mean L. And life is all good. <laughs> GG's to both players. Let me update their match. So, Blazer 2-0. We'll go on to fight new stuff. Doing quite well. I wonder who new stuff is playing. Because, um... New stuff got the... He has quite the varied character selection from what I know in the past few tournaments he joined from me. His character types are quite different per game. So yeah, I'm not sure what he's playing now. Someone tell me if you have played them. And it seems like we have quite uh, a lot of matches and losers going on. Oni getting sent early by who? By Fate two one. And um, let's see. So Ronda will be fighting Mergatsu. Oni will be fighting Fang down there. Valtteri will be out bad and Pierce going to fight Just Dill. Hmm. Quite, quite, quite fun. Match spread to watch. Minimals will be fighting R. I wonder if R is playing Avatar Belial in the current iteration. Or, um, or, hmm. He has a six. So, yeah. I think his staff plays near. Yeah, it sounds about right. Like, he had, I'm pretty sure he had a testament back then. He played Noel. I think he won one of the R stuff before. So yeah, okay, next one, we got Fate and Timothy. P1, P2, password Zui. Mm. So Timothy being our resident Belial player, we haven't had the Belial, the dedicated Belial player in quite a while, actually. Mm. So this will be winner's quarters, so... Still not, uh, what they call that. Still not first to free yet. Our first to free starts, uh, from winners finals and losers semis onwards. Hmm. Eustace? Does he play Eustace? I don't know. If there's a Eustace player, you can find Saf. <laughs> Saf was, a. Uh, was a Southeast Asian player until he moved to Australia. Plays Lancelot and uh, Eustace, sort although of, I don't know who he plays now concretely, admittedly. Oh, so Fate is the Eustace, my bad. I did not expect that. I did read up a lot about Eustace tech just to prepare for a tournament Eustace, by the way, so gonna flex it later. <laughs> Eustace has a lot of crouch confirms. Especially uh, for his red rat rice. Hmm. But most, uh, the most uh, important change for Eustace in the new version is the fact that inputs don't affect the cooldowns. So his projectiles are very useful or in simple input. You got even like spooky projectile usage. He still has his vertical fireball and stuff that's really useful. They're chargeable to make it plus. And that's the basic confirmed. Very threatening special move in general. Fate does have access to the invincible reversal granted to him. And that's the U follow up from his slide. If you guys don't know what that is, it allows him a hit in the corner. So let's see if it will happen. Nope, he'll just confirm the hit. No super. Probably won't be in time for the meter penalty. Yep. Not quite the optimal combo, but everyone's figuring stuff out. So that's fine. 
And look at that. Oh, getting counter hit over there. But no confirm into the super. Yeah, and that's plus. You have to jump in advance to call that move out. So, all right. Invisible reversal. Swing. Got the tactical knife. Not the most uh, impressive looking super, but still quite cool because you don't see Eustace as often and he is one of the characters that I think definitely gets slept on. Super good sweep, but we haven't seen that yet. And there goes TFE with the Belial combos. Reliable as ever, jumping out of that 2M. Very brave. And that's plus. Stunlight. Tries to steal his turn after the Stunlight. Minus four, if I'm not wrong. Gets pushed to the corner. Minus one BP from TFE. What are you to say? Oh, gets the hit, but no confirm. Oh, and the dodge again. Using the BP to trap him in the corner. I like this idea. And that's the confirm. Wait, he drops it. It's quite huge. Still susceptible to chip damage, but that far H just taking space so, so rapidly. Such a strong move. Ooh, the low tries to clip him, but does not connect. And using the froze chip damage quite nicely. No anti here, though. TFE in previous, uh, our previous tournament entries also had that weakness. He isn't quite anti-ring a lot. And that's the confirm. Small damage. And we still haven't seen uh, any use of the rat race as I say it. It does get planted, but he does not trigger it. Oh, nah. That's the combo. Super right away. Interesting choice. We'll put him into SSBA range, so the Belial does have to be careful. Oh, wait, no, not quite. Yeah, the starter is quite small after all. But he is quite close. And um, definitely a doable situation for Fate. Unfortunately, does not get that combo. It is quite hard to land. Guard Cancel will put him closer. Gets the clip. And he can Raging Strike over here. Does not choose to do it. And definitely winnable for Fate. But unfortunately, gets clipped by that 2M. And TFE will go up by one. Fate still hasn't quite shown a lot of the sauce combos and not a lot of rat races in neutral. So not a lot of blue bombs in neutral. That's the important part I would like to know because you can toss it down and chase after it and react if they jump or not. It's a really good tool just to see what they're doing. Sometimes you do it on midi too. And that's the throw on dodge. I'm not sure what he was dodging. Might be a bit of autopilot going on for TFE. And there goes the laser into the bombs. I'm su again, surprised no rat rays being used because uh, TFE is dodging a lot of stuff. No stun light. Nice. Resets the pressure. Goes for the jump. And look at that damage. Throw damage. Definitely substantial in this game. And oh, he doesn't even go for the break. Doesn't press the guard button after. And here goes the blue bomb finally. And tries to chip him out. But does tech in time. And the free shots cannot dodge that fate. We'll get the round back for himself. Oh, high jump. <laughs> Oh, gets clipped. That was really, really scary for Fate. Jumps out, gets clipped, stays in the corner. Just box him out, TFE. But loses the space, misses the confirm. Ooh, that is bad. Light DP. And the invincible reversal, the new system mechanics. Nice jump outwards. Gonna grab it. Oh, gets pranked. <laughs> you thought it was the walk. Ooh, gets tipped on the head. Yeah, no, not this time. He won't do the full combo though, so this is quite devastating. And the chip damage, as I mentioned. Fate not quite doing the combos that he needs. Also had access to SSB, so he just died on a 100 meter. Game point for TMF. Again. Oh, does not create the air blockable situation. Still manages to confirm medium into the heavy. And just trying to check for Steve Fee's movements. Nice walk outwards. Because Steve is just jumping at him nonstop. Unfortunately, not Street Fighter. 
Can't break fro froze like that as reliably. Gets the air hit. TFE has the advantage. Pushes himself back forward. Both players missing their throws. Ooh. And super again quite early. I guess he wants to cash out. Gets that one BP advantage. Ooh. Still doable from T uh, from Fate because the life uh, disadvantage is not that much. But the autopilots are getting kind of obvious. The EX, EX forward shot into the balls. Oh! And the disconnect again! What is happening, guys? Oh, man. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, no, mind, they're back! Super! <laughs> Welcome back, guys! <laughs> Blue rat race gonna he's not gonna chase after it, but that's the combo. No, he drops it. TFV on zero. Mashes! Fate, don't get impatient now. This is your chance. Nice confirm. Uh blue rat race. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mashes up and come back Oh my god. What is wrong with you, man? This froze the match. Unfortunately, you got the internet and the throw combined together. What is happening, guys? You gotta explain to me. <laughs> oh, man. That, that was a bit uh, unexpected, I would say. <laughs> uh. Yes, hello, Fang. And hello, the chat again. We're back, and we're gonna have an update over the matches happening so far. SJ will go fight Seo. Good luck to that guy. Oni will 2 0 Fang in the match. Let's see. If it's laggy, you guys should be saying, bro. Yep, both players were lagging. I could tell. Yep. Yeah, and those two will have a connection test first. That is fine. Mm. So after they uh, test their connection, they will be up next. It will be Glow and Nevo. Oh, I itching. My bad, guys. All right. So, yep. Just update your scores and teal or reporting. Good job, guys. I really like you guys. Love you. Pray for your Lance. He is busted. Lancelot is busted. I'm playing that character. Actually, I play like. Quiz, quiz for you guys. Which characters do I play? Uh, first guy who types all of them in the chat <laughs> gets a small reward. <laughs> if you can type all of them, good luck. I don't know if you can. No, you type all of them but one message. Okay? One message. The the person who, who types like all of them will get a special surprise. One message, guys. One message. Shut up, <laughs> the send <Sen> guy. <laughs> Fucking slad there. I'm not a filthy Lancelot mate. <laughs> I'll let you guys um, guess until the end of the first round they have. <laughs> so I gotta change the names and stuff. Gotta put them up. Glow versus Neo. So this match will be our um, still winners quarters final. So it will be first to two between those two, and we had two new ones there. I timed that transition so well. <laughs> and yes, it's more near versus Kai. Is this Zoe? No, it's it's Grimnir. I didn't even see that. 
and I laughed this character out, so I know. Remember, guys, the wind dash is minus two. I have to keep saying this to everyone. The wind dash is minus two. And I love the voice actor of uh, Grimnir. Even the English one is funny. So, just a preface, he's more than just a Rashid clone, as you guys can tell. He has a questionable... Uh, okay, he has kind of strange normals. They're not orthodox. And he kind of plays at the extreme ranges. Good backdash, just to say. And, uh, I'm not sure what Nemo is doing. Probably panicking a bit right here. Just running back and forth. This is not an enemy game. You can't get to uh, do... Do dash box, you gotta walk block in this game. And okay, well, that's the swift one for Glow at the start. Watch out for Grim! Yeah! And uh, he's just using the project for, uh, for projectile straight. And oh! Card not using the guard button! You know what happens if they don't use the guard button? <laughs> and he moves backward there. Tries to use the far heavy there. But remember, the far hit takes a second to wind up. You got that first close hit and then the far hit going up. But gets donked right away. Is this a perfect we're looking at? There goes the chip damage incoming. And that's the finish. Unfortunately, Nero gets knowledge chucked by the jump teleport. Ah, the gimmicks. Jump teleport, dodge the first hit, punish on the teleport side. <laughs> He's drawing triangles and stuff. Oh man. And goes for the poke, does not go for the side swap. That is not quite plus, but good enough. Forces the. Okay, combo. Set up. Yep, flip. Oh, it does. Goes for the low that time. Because everyone's going for, for highs nowadays. <laughs> Kids and their F cheekies. <laughs> Cold your hot turns to the other side. 100 meter ready. Oh, will you go for the raging strike? Force him to guess. Uh, okay, nice. But uh, watch out for the chip damage. Minus four over there. QT Cyclone! Okay, too, too much flying around, Mr. Niwa. <laughs> too much flying. Get down over here. But Guilty Cyclone gotta be one of my favorite lines. I love like all characters that have the really tuny voice lines. And go all out in their voice lines. Does not confirm that. Ooh. Still pushes to the corner. Super dangerous switch. Dash out. No confirm again. Let's not use the far out. And the far edge will get that hit. Nevo in a precarious situation again. Everyone does not know the matchup against uh, Kagliostro it seems. And there goes the finish. Oh man, we need someone to expose all the cat gimmicks. This is the one time as a TO where I say, if only I was in the tourney. But I'm completely fine with just commentating it because it's kind of funny to see everyone get killed by a meme. <laughs> ah. You guys, remember? There, 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 I'll send you guys a doc later. But uh, it is what it is, and uh, Glow will move on. Magatsu will go on to fight Niwo, and uh, and he will fight another Kag, so he can have fun with that. Seo will go fight Oni. Unfortunately, it's not a stream match, so we don't get to see the classic rematch of Vanilla. Sad, sad. I would want to see that too. So, d -d 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 blame Minaba for everything. <laughs> I mean, you ask me, I can teach you how to deal. The deal with the gimmicks. There's also a friend on Twitter that shows how to be all the new gimmicks of every character. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, uh, all right. Next one. Yeah, Magatsu. Good luck against fighting another Kag. It must be really funny on your side. So we got winners, semis. Next. Yeah, yeah, I bet Glow knows that one too. Like, I mean, all CAG players are like, oh shit. <laughs> they fucking know now. Like, the moment they dodge that J2 to you, they're like, oh shit. I get counter hit in the air. What do I do now? And, like, and I just imagine they get counter hit by a Vasaraga of all people. <laughs> and, then, and then they find out how to beat the, the EX trap. No, I mean, the ultimate trap. Glow is gonna be like quaking in his boots. <laughs> 
But even if I say it now, people won't know how to deal with it. So I guess like whatever, man. <laughs> so next one, we got your Requiem versus uh, TFE. Your Requiem. TFE. You want P2 password Zuli. All right, guys. The guess my main, guess all my characters uh, contest is still up. I'm not seeing enough honor answers. We got like 40 viewers in here. I'm pretty sure at least 10 of you will try. Hopefully. I'm like that teacher in class now telling people to, please, uh, I'm gonna like, um, you, Jason at the back, answer my question. <laughs> this is gonna, this is gonna force people into uncomfortable situations. The question is, list all the characters I play and the peop the person with the most and the most correct. We, we get we get it. No, we'll get something. I don't know what it is. I'll decide later. <laughs> yes, you can. But uh, you need to... Yeah, 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 I, don't, I don't even know if you know all of them. <laughs> Do you actually know all of them? I will be impressed. Okay, you... Okay, wait for five answers, then you answer. Or two answers. Everyone in the chat! I see all of you! Like, dead ass. I know how many of you are watching the chat. You got like 41 viewers right now. <laughs> I see 41 of you. And I know who is listening to the chat. Who is like muted on the call and uh, on the on the stream. Who is not. So you, I, go typing. <laughs> I'm calling you guys out. <laughs> Stop being lazy. <laughs> Start whenever. <laughs> who knows is it 11 characters? Just let's solve them. As many characters as you can name correctly. I'll only count how many correct ones you say. And if you list the whole cast, it's not counted. If you have more than three incorrect, then you're out. <laughs> Alright, let's see this intro. I think this theme is called Illuminated World. He doesn't have the complete RGB uh, Sheiks, by the way. He doesn't have the claws yet. So not quite full RGB yet. No escape. What was he using there? I'm not sure. What was he mashing? But you're welcome. In the corner right away. No biggie for Sheiks. Oh, and he gets the full combo. This is going to be dangerous when we go for the side swap. No, he's just going to focus on the carry. And the damage is substantial from that 2-2 U starter. No, 2-8 U starter. Mr. Void Claws himself. No parry on that jump. And gets the delay tag. Light DP will get him out of the corner. And minus. Oh, no. TFE wastes one BP for that. He might need to sacrifice one of his... Uh, yeah, sacrifice one of his Raging Strikes in his combo. But that's fine. He recovers one. Net game one. And look at that damage. Clean, clean, and oh man! <laughs> Raging strike on that. What is that? <laughs> okay, amazing far out as usual, TFE. Making real good use of that button in this game. And no anti airs from Real Requiem again. Parry will go through. We don't see a lot of the Gamma Blade so far. But oh man! Requiem, a bit too aggressive, sending himself into TFE's claws, and as I say that, he does actually get sent in there. Finally, an anti -air. nice micro dash. And does not have six call execution yet. That debated. <laughs> that move is just so funny to see. But you see the little bounce at the end; it gets bopped. Requiem just gets domed there. Still very doable because, uh, as you know, in this game. As long as you have super meter, anything is possible. But TFE might not know that uh, the ultimate dive is minus on block. That explains a lot of the reactions. And the grab into the super reaction! <laughs> Mr. Yuo Kazan himself. Fun fact, the voice actor of Sheiks is the voice actor of uh, Guy from Gao Geiger. The really, um, what do you call that? 
the really swag main characters with that raspy voice. The ones that go, Kyeh! Oh, that's the wrong jump. Yiffy strikes back with one of the bad habits again. And nice, cheap knockdown. Effective though. Oh, but DFE gets that confirmed into the mid screen. Does a little shimmy shimmy gang. But gets a full combo here again. EX Rekka knocks him all the way to the wall. And 100 meter is back already for your Rekka. Robo Strike for situation. But he gets the hit. Raging Strike. Push him out of the corner. I'm not sure if this is the route he wants to go for. The gimmicks. And he tries to cheap him out. DFE. A bit too much if you ask me. Okay, Magatsu, you can you can type the characters now. <laughs> and EX, nice, puts him the corner. Super advantageous situation. Goes for the back dash. Not sure what he was cooking over there. When he goes to cross up, come on, guys, we want to see the Sheik's cross ups. <laughs> Do recommend into the cross up. EX grab. Both players, access to 100 meter, nice choice, but the dodge will lead the punish! Raging Strike, super! Inside. Wow, here we go, TFE bringing it back, showing that he's no slouch. Just fight against demons a bit, you know, like the intrusive thoughts in your head. They do invade sometimes. Very understandable. And nice, again, using that overhead for the meter efficient knockdowns. Not like Sheik has much to do afterwards. You're gonna save the dive anyway. Gets shimmied by the far edge. No confirms on that first hit. Still gets the second. But the problem is, TFE does not manage to conti continue his pressure using the guard cancel. And again with the funny. <laughs> and the air base goes into super right away, cashing out with the BP. Boing! And that is quite a bit of damage for that situation. Just gotta look for one more, but that's the punish. TFE has got to watch out. Goes for the throw. Nice choice. Throw it into the corner. Okay, EX. And I'm pretty sure he's dead here. Raging Strike doesn't even need it. You're a Requiem. <laughs> Showing that he's really hard to take down and indeed with the meter, of course it's hard to take down. Counter hit, no combo though. And here the guard cancel right away. This time he does get the end here. The combo in the corner. Another one. Goes for the jump. No anti-air reaction, but it's gonna be hard on Oki. Oh man. I thought he was going for a grab, but he went for a strike instead, gets parried. And look at that life deficit. TFE has to make something happen with a super, especially. Because the grab, no chip damage done yet. But, oh, nice. Slowly chipping him out. The life lead slowly going down. Nice dodge. Oh, but what will he go for here? That's what it is. Into, oh, does not get the wall bounce, unfortunate. And look at that. Just a small advantage. He did, and he tries to get the flip. Now, your Requiem is a one touch situation. Chip damage in range. Zero BP, though, for TFE. And gets the EX grab into the Raging Strike. What are you trying to do? Solid play. And again, TFE really liking that far edge leading to all of his situations is his primer you could say but that autopilot as i was about to say he does autopilot here there that dodge showing it and oh no your requiem did not punish the dp properly two and no confirms even if, when it was counter hit a nice end here babe but no combo oh nice whip punish i like that and far l confirmed TFE slowly pushes the corner. Nice dodge again. No punish that time though because he went that normal. Did not get to dodge early. But the problem is your Requiem on basically life support for the next combo. Gotta eat that. Makes up. Goes for the delay sweep. Oh, that's a counter hit. Pushes the corner. Better cash out with that super, sir. No, he misses the combo. Still a lot of grab damage going through. 
And oh my god, that grab damage is gonna hurt a lot and tries to go and cancel. TFP will get cut. Oh man, your Requiem just came back all the way with zero BP. That is super dangerous. And the dive again, counter hit, no conversion again. Both players very enthusiastic on using the guard cancel. It is quite good, but you gotta consider it. The cost of being exploded by a super. Keep on. And no end here. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Looks like he tried to. Protect. And nice choice this time using the parry to uh, dissuade TFE. And the ultimate parry does not go through. His was on cooldown. And now both of the options are down. Dodges, no punish. Not early enough. And then their strike throw makes up this game. Tech window quite long. And nice counter hit confirmed. Pushes to the corner. Super careful. Ooh! Both players just scrambling in that spacing. Four lights just touching each other. And the dash out gaming. No! He missed his magic strike, but still gets the counter hit. You're a wreck with him. Oh, man. Clutches that went out. Unfortunate for DRP. But the scrambles are a bit too much for him. Pressing M plus H too enthusiastically. Oh. But you're a wreck with him. Just playing a bit more solid than DRP. Granting that 2-1 victory into winner's finals. Update on the scores. Magatsu gets knocked out. And Seo beats both Oni and Blazer to fight Neo next. Another uh, Cagliostro player. Let's see how they will fare after. <laughs> yep, unfortunately you didn't, uh, didn't see the matchup for Cagliostro. So that's that. So Fate will be playing Allpad, who I've never seen before, but he's making it quite far into the bracket, which is quite nice. Who did Allpad get knocked out by Newo? Hmm. Alright, next one. We got New Staff versus Glow. New Staff versus Glow. We won't be too password Zui. <laughs> hmm. So Glow will be ready again. Let's see if he uh, disconnects or not. If he does, it will be quite funny. And I think they're gonna check connection first. Yep, they will. Let's see if SJ is correct this time. Grand Jita, Catalina Sheik's near, Lancelot Percival, Ladiva Vera, Grimnir, Low Wayne Seek. Let's see. Hmm. Is it truly correct? Let's see. First of all, no, not in this version. If it's vanilla, you will be correct. And I don't play Grim <laughs> And I don't play Grimnir. Not yet. Alright. Next person. He got uh he got partial answer. He got like the 0 0.5 mark or the 2.5 mark mark. <laughs> Three four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had. I still do, but it's like not the best answer, you know. Okay, whatever. You got, you got, you got quite close. Someone, someone. I had, bro. It's whatever, man. Like I don't, I don't play characters of main. <laughs> I, I have some characters that I play more than Grim, Grim Deer. <laughs> Come on, man. Start whenever. <clears throat> oh yeah, Sheik's is way easier. The the one thing about Sheik's though is that uh, compared to the old version, I would say Sheik's does not have the advantage of being safe from everything in the damn planet anymore, which is really nice. He's still really OP though because of his boost speed and stuff. The real problem is that he's not uh he's not safe to everything anymore. Which was one of his key strings back then. Believe in victory. Hey, AC has got it correct. <laughs> well, here we go. Uh, next match going through with the near. 
Nier can fix you. It's not your responsibility. And nice. Glow knows that you can't mash after the DP. Ooh, and that's a corner combo. My heart rate is real, bro. I use it against most people. Does it wait, bro? <laughs> nah, it's not, honestly. I think my Grimnir is gonna be better than the Audrey. <laughs> but merely to the fact that it's a generic character. Going back to the match. Glow pushing out to the corner real quick. And the spike. Ooh, I'm not sure if that's what you wanted. Goes for the mix up. Oh, goes for the mid. What is Bro doing? <laughs> bro messed up with a mid, guys. <laughs> oh, man. The thing is, even after the high low mix, you get to continue your pressure. So I'm not sure what that close H is for. Okay, DP. Let's connect. Will he go for the super? Best to go for the super now. Yep. And oh, one health. Still, still get that block pressure. Still has one special left, but we'll end it off with the auto combo. Now, auto combo high low makes us really weak. It does not matter. Auto combo limits variation, and auto combo can be fuzzy. Remember, guys, the overhead is slightly slower. It's actually not slightly slower, it's like six frames slower than the low. So, do fuzzy it, guys. And the teleport does not check it. Once again, I'm not sure what's happening in this region. We don't know that. We got no uh, Cagliostro players. And then like, everyone's like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, catches that. Mix up again. Oh, never mind. He goes for the super to cash out. That is fine. Still seven stocks, but no Oki. Okay, that's the problem. He does not get to end it. You see? No, right, never mind. Raging Strike. I take it back. But he doesn't get to end it right away. It could have been risky. So in case it didn't get that hit, it would be wouldn't be as clean. He also didn't get the Oki, so it's not guaranteed. So new stuff. When will he use the DP? That's the question. Oh nice! I like that ice spike. And the thing is after the landing of that JU, she is completely punishable. So you can watch out for that. I like the choice you send back uh death to her hand too. Because that's minus two on block. And also does quite a bit of damage for no resource. Five meter left only though, so new staff is barely on the cost efficiency. He needs to really make it count now. One stock left, still can use specials. And that's the DP. New staff has to play patient, but that is fine. Okay, guess that. Boop. Get off me. Battle two. Engage. One thing about the DP combo, it is really strong. But uh, one thing you need to know is that uh, the, the cost efficiency of uh, using a DP is quite bad. It takes up half of your stock just to uh, just to set up the OK situation afterwards. It does get you 40%, but it's way better with super. So DP without super, like early in the game, won't be as valuable as later on. That's the EX DP, and that should be a kill. Glow will prevent, uh, try to prevent Neo Snap from taking it from with a sweep right away. Okay, guess that confirmed. And into the medium again. And nice. One thing about uh, walking to the opponent with near 2 is that you gain more meter by walking instead of dashing. And here we go. Even with the guard castle, killing death off. And oh no, new stop. This might be tight, but Glow is in one touch range. So he has to be careful too. Only two stocks left. Not much you can do, but you need to confirm it's a super. Here is the counter hit, and then that's your health gone. Let's see how much it does. Bing. You got one guard cancel to use. If you get hit by Raging Strike, it's over. And oh no, what are you doing, Glow? The demon possessed him for that one single second. What was he doing? Hello? It's Glover, guys. It's so Glover. What is that? <laughs> oh, man. <gasps> All right, let's see the matches. We got winners, finals. We got your Requiem, the new stuff. Your Requiem moving really far into the bracket. And yes, he, he is playing more matches than most. And I will, your Requiem, do tell me if you're playing Sheik's only. 
Because it's, it would be really funny if you're just playing Sheik's only. <laughs> Sheik's players are being carried in hand hell. Unforgivable. New stuff with plot armor. <laughs> yep. And then, uh, as usual, new stuff, way of saying GG's is, uh, alternatively spamming the G and the S button. Hmm. Draw Requiem. Maybe I'll play Grimnir. Yeah, Grimnir is sauce. But, uh, as you can tell, in the, um, sometimes our Grimnirs here swing a bit too hard. And, uh, they whiff a lot. Next one, we'll have Seo versus Nemo. Let's see if Seo can, uh, come back from this situation. He lost to a Cagliostro earlier. Has he adapted yet? Does he know? <laughs> we're, go we're gonna use the image. Does he know? With that, with that clueless. This will be losers quarter. No, losers round six. Uh, so it won't be a quarter set. So we will be doing first to three from winners finals onwards and uh, losers semis onwards. So next two brackets or first to two. So they're doing connection tests first. We can chill here. And I can drag the whole, uh, what do you call that? Roster out. GBVSR characters. Haha. -ha. Side games. So let's see. I do play these. Da -da -da -da. One character I really want to pick up is uh, definitely Matera. And uh, I kind of have a Zoe already. And uh, you just play her like a neutral character. If, if Grant taught us anything. Uh, no, no, not Grand. I mean, if, if Gamera taught us anything, it's 2v6-0. That's how you use your Dragon Beater. Grimnir. And, whoop! Grimnir from Nivo. Interesting. I wonder if he chose it for this matchup in particular. And I'll let you guys enjoy this true knee opening. Oh, you played Grimnir against you too. <laughs> He's talking over Jita, you can't just say that! That's his identity! And that pan is too big! Fucking cover the screen! Jeters! Grand Blue Green Reaper! And yeah, one thing about uh, Grimnir's projectile is that it's quite fast, so you don't get the same uh, frame advantage of it. But it is quite useful in the sense that you can control where it goes. We haven't seen it used in the upward direction too much. But putting it in the middle is quite useful. Because uh, you can set up your seals and stuff. And make a fly path and those things. Of course, fly with caution at your own risk. And I hear a raging strike into super. Got a cash out. Save jump. Oh, delay! Close edge. That is gonna be so much damage. Could it the Kimeru? And being very patient. Nice! But the problem about Grimnir is that his jump is also very floaty to compensate for his ground movement. Ooh, nice. I like that delay option, but it's gonna put it at minus four. DP's on negative. Not gonna get you the advantage, sir. Not this time. Nice, great patience. Tsuranuk. And EXDP still has the invulnerability. The difference being ultimate DPs are safe to safe jabs. And here we go, the seals, the flight path, gets the hit, that's the full combo. Locked on. Oh, never mind, he gets donked instead, my bad. And a counter hit goes through, no confirm on that dash out though. Oh, the crash confirm. That's it. Super, and then, bzzz. and that's so much damage, man. Ooh. And Seo has four stocks. Raging Strike win. Here we go. Okay, never mind. He does not stay in range to confirm. And DP on negative again. Nemo <laughs> tries to cheat his way back into the match. And hi, Yoriyoshi. Congrats on your recent gigs, by the way. I follow your Twitter. 
Don't know if you remember me. Ooh, okay, forcing that RS response with the brave counter. Down to one left, so Neo is gonna take a lot of damage for that. <laughs> that projectile just blocking Seo's attempts. And Seo using a lot of those um, spacing and timing traps with Jita, especially the far heavy. And Seo is known for uh, playing quite basic compared to a lot of other people. Solid game plan, just a lot of space control. And look at that, using Jita's record to push him back. But Neo does get a successful hit, and another one does not get to confirm that he is low and empty right now. Oh! No confirm! This is gonna be huge! Oh, come on! Demo, you need to confirm these hits! You can't just let him play the game like this! No! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Nemo, you have three hits to confirm that super! <laughs> oh, no! Okay, with punish with the dash out on that far out. And he is in the corner already. Using the tornado to keep his space and okay, unique option. And nice, I like that. But unfortunately it does not get to side swap. Side swap is done with the throw instead. Cha! Okay, here we go, the setups. Guilty cyclone! Okay, never mind he fails. I dropped that combo before, don't worry guys. <laughs> I knew it was coming. No, he drops the combo instead. He was killed over there. Oh man, he mashes. And here we go. Bahamut. He drops the combo to everyone's dropping their combos. <laughs> Dash out on the plus phrase. He tries to. What is he mashing? Nemo, what are you doing? Dunk. Boom. Making them. Oh my god, what are you doing, man? <laughs> oh. That's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure he might have tried to guard cancel there. That's true. But the super drop really cost him. <laughs> he could have gone that match. But it is what it is, guys. It's so <laughs> Yes, Matthew. Welcome. <laughs> it's not just you who is uh, this region's number one uh, on my supporter, by the way. You got an Asura to contest with. So you got to share the title with him. And welcome to the viewers here. Hope you're having fun with Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. If you don't have the game, there's always a free version to try with rotating cast. Grand always free. Free characters rotating every week. Very, very fun game. This is one of the games I love so, so much. But it is quite different from Vanilla. If you can get past the whole Dash Out thing, I still think it's quite stupid. I don't think Dash Out is... Uh, that strong in the context of the block pressure because it's plus two there are ways to deal with it It's just like so you could say but uh, It's still really it's still really annoying though Obviously because it pushes you back you have to guess and stuff it takes so much space and the space is the most annoying part Actually the key thing about dash out is the amount of control it has in neutral because what well, priority doesn't matter Because it's so fast you don't you can't even put it in the same frame with medium buttons. Thank you Saf for pointing that out when when we had that small discussion, dash um, dash out is just so prominent in neutral. You can't even neutral jump it, and you can't whip punish it. You can't dodge it. There's no way. You you get punished for dodging in fact because it, you, dodging has counter hit recovery. So yeah, like uh, dash out really strong in this game. A lot of the key factors of this game are decided by how good your dash out is, because for some characters like near honestly is not her puppet. That's the scary part. The most scary part is her neutral. Her buttons without the um without the puppet out, without death out, are actually really outstanding. Wait, uh, I misreported. Whoops. I need to add the results. Whoopsie. I need to reset the match. I reported wrongly, guys. Sorry. Give me a bad fate. So Alpat is the one that went to one. So Sozu versus Open. <laughs> yep. So I hope everyone is in. And Sozu, nice to see you over here. 
an op pad. I've never seen them before. If anyone can introduce to me who this guy is, do let me know. Because I've never seen them play before. The amount of time I got near to two stocks and I got hit by straight 669 I lose this insane. Yeah, and the funny thing is, Nia can combo with her you and, you boop, and then your health just disappears. It's just so funny. But and usually um when she is at zero stocks, you're probably in one touch range if the Nier is playing properly. So yeah. It's quite a pain in the ass, you would say. And Gran. I keep saying this. Gran is a strong character. It's like, to me, he's top six. Top eight. Top top eight, top six. He's like up there for me. He, he's definitely like low S, high, really high A, in my opinion. Because uh, Gran, the thing with Gran is that he can always win. His SSBA and SBA are really strong. And one secret, guys. For his SSBA regular, uh, SBA regular follow-up, the key thing is that you can use it from any distance as long as you hit the first hit and you do the follow-up it will always clean hit so that's the utility of that super over bahamut and here we have a seek matchup we don't see a lot of seeks surprisingly in this region i only know myself and rondo who play and now we got all pack and also zets actually so we got orican into the corner knock Oh, he actually does get the close um, close out there. And that's the combo. Orokan? No, he fumbles a bit in the corner. Definitely still a chance for Sozu. Goes for the low counter hit. Who was fuzzy mashing for sure. And then, Raging Strike into Super. And look at that. So, uh, Allpad did spend one for the combo earlier, remember? So he's gonna take a lot of damage, and this is definitely doable for Sozu. Does have a hundred meter. Okay, that's it. Super. No, no, not super. I mean, EX. And that's it. Wow, that did so much damage. The close. The close end was the thing that killed. That's the surprising part. Yeah. And so you really have to be careful of managing your BP in this game. And oh my god, the dash M is so, so risky that he, the way he used it. Tries to do a cheeky, re cheeky reset of the auto combo. And okay. Nice. Using that guard cancel to push him out. And the signature G, the JU. Super hard to deal with. Guess the wall bounce. The Iki Nebu. And that's a vanilla combo if we have ever seen one. Opa, very willing to use that dash, uh, guard cancel to push himself out. Very, very nice. But Sosu does have a lot of the life lead staggers. The Rekka. And regains, regains one back. Good choice. But will this cost him because he didn't optimize? No, it doesn't. So Alpad does get killed. Even though he does not spend Raging Strike. That is very nicely done by Zozu. And yes, that dash up is just ridiculously long. But Zozu again manages to get out. Confirms the 4M into EX Wrecker. DP. Frame trap. And nice using that uh, raging strike. It was necessary because you have to cycle the cooldown. So very, very nicely done there. Oh, the dodge goes unpunished. He did not use the close L. Goes for the low instead. That is fine because he still gets the advantage. Raging strike available. And he has the meter. Okay, never mind. He drops it, but zero right now for Seek. Does a simple DP will kill him? Nicely done from Sozu. So far, very solid play. All pad. Okay, yeah. Finally, we see the TCS. I would like to call it in neutral. If you play Monster Hunter Great Sword, you would know what that move is. And nice buffer on the Orkan. And finally, using the homie stocks. Still at one, so it increases his damage by quite a lot, in my opinion. And I think it's definitely worth to maintain at one stock. Oh, tries to DP on negative, and he'll get the meter for the super. And Straza and Fangun? So they're trying to cheat his way back. He's got to take more risk with the n amount of life he is down on. So that is... A l it's it's kind of fine, in my opinion, but... Definitely could have played more patiently. Goes for the safe jump. Never mind. Fake jump into low. Gets the cooldown back. 
the meter penalty. Gonna run out, but he's not gonna get enough meter. Still, a great advantage right now. Does get enough now, but he gets hit by the projectile. Gets hit by the dash M. Getting pushed to the other side. All pad does not commit to any of the Orkan follow-ups. Jumps. Oh no, he tries to do the medium. TCS. And no ultimate record to corner carry. So Sozu got to focus on keeping the corner right now. Raging Strike forcing the last one out. All pad in dangerous range right now, but... Oh, watch out. Oh, gets the air hit. This is bad. Both players at zero. Anything will kill. He does not do Schwarzen. He got the no combo too. DCS, no super available. Bob, what are you doing? What is this? Oh my god. They just decided, okay, let's just spend the whole of our ultimate meter. Can't do anything. Oh, man. Oh, well. Southeast Asian gameplay, you know, like it wouldn't be Southeast Asia without this. So uh, yeah, great job. Worth. <laughs> At least it was funny. We could say that. <laughs> All right, next one we got our losers quarters match between uh, TFE and Seo. Hmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Matches going through smoothly. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay, guys. Today has been quite a roller coaster of matches. I did not expect like so much scrambling, you know. Yes, sloppies. We got we bring in the slop gods in this uh, in this in this region. Alright, let's go. Oh hell, I hate this song. <laughs> I'm really not a fan of this song, if you guys still can't tell. And okay, does not get the confirm still. Oh, nice jump timing by Seo, but he is on the near this time, not on the Jita anymore. So definitely dangerous to deal with. And considering that Seo is one of the more defensive players in this region. Gotta watch out. He can come back at any moment. Go oh, there goes the sweep. Yatsuragi will... The mix up will you go for the side switch no he would try to avoid the dp i'm not sure and does not punish death over there uh tfe and goes guard cancel i definitely like that choice but he is on one left so he does have to be careful i really like the choice of using projectiles though because tfe can stop any attempt by death to come up but here we go he is probably dead now super oh Oh no! Okay, still gets the shimmy off. The thing about um, Nier that's scary is that she doesn't, in the end, once you watch the higher level players, they don't rely on the the persona displacement uh, goofy ass stuff for, neut uh, for neutral. They also use uh, Nier's outstanding buttons outside. Okay. Nice stagger pressure going for the low. And the DP gets punished. No, never mind. Just gonna eat a small jab for that. For an originally game losing mistake. And there goes the counter hit. And the confirmed solidly pushing him to the corner. Seo has six stocks left. Still enough to kill. Especially when he is in SSB. So he if he can't afford to let loose over here. And oh no. That dash was dangerous. No too welcome from uses the file instead. Super. Yep. And that's it. That's what you get for spending BP. One of the it's so funny, right? Because it is one of the strongest guard cancels like I know in modern in modern games. You can use it at any point of the game. Early game, late game you can spend all of them. Early game you can spend all of them. You can spend it uh yeah, yeah, you can just spend it however. And you're plus six on block, but the damage return is just really risky. So it creates an interesting dynamic. Seo so spending two reversals but does not manage to get conversions off them. So it is quite costly so far, you can tell. Nice jab by DFE to kill off death. Look at that, four stocks remaining and DFE has half health left. So Seo has to Oh, Seo has to really make it value. One stock left, gotta use the super over there. And definitely enough to pressure with that one stock. Just gotta focus on the neutral now. Gets thrown into the corner. TFE 
He is a bit scared right now. You can tell and that dash out will allow the conversion to the close M. One of Nier's best qualities. Oh wait, yeah, plus one to Seo. You are correct. My bad. Thanks for the correction. Ooh, what punish. That's gonna hurt a lot. Will you go for the side switch? No. But he will get go for the low. It does side switch. Never mind, does not get the conversion. Oh, mm. and look at that position. I like it a lot, but that 2 1 for you. Gonna push him so, so far. Okay, no conversion off that too. TFE is dropping these like crazy. Drops the super to punish. This is a huge opportunity. Oh no! What was he going for? No! What was TFE going for? I think he missed input there, but that's that. It will be 0 2. <laughs> oh, dude. That, that, was, that, was, that was a bit of a scuffle over there. Sales dropping confirms here and there, but in the end, just getting more hits in neutral, you know? The elf who's eased. <laughs> so next one will be a glow and Sozuo. Sozu. Mm. <laughs> Nurse hitting hard, yeah. But nice try by TFV though. I think his gameplay compared to before was definitely more solid. I wouldn't call it the most clean. Because he does still jump quite a lot. But it is what it is, you know. He still managed to put up a great performance. I like it. Only a Belial player in this region. Keep it up. Next one. Glo versus Zozu. One of the few Jitas in this region other than Valteria, me, and this guy. And maybe Eru. I don't know if Eru is still using a Jita. And again, the Zozu. No, the, the Glow classic. Zozu eating it. And the teleport. No reactions. No counter hit. And that's gonna be quite devastating in terms of his health. But Jita can get back at any moment. Not like Grand, but still. Baits out that, gets the counter hit, and that should be a kill. Battle two. Engage. <clears throat> Alright, let me reset the game data. Give me a bit. <clears throat> Throw that. Okay, guess that conversion. And should go for the Raging Strike combo. Yep, I corrected that. Thanks, guys. Fancy. And look at that lively from Jita. And okay, going for the Fake Gem setup. Ooh, the back and forth glove. One more guess. Guess the Invincible Reversal, but that is at the cost of his meter. Changes the sides. Not much off that. And nice. Guard Castle for that chip damage. Anything will kill Glow right now. But he's got to be careful. Oh, no. And he... I wonder why he did um, the spike there. Because he was down. And even on block, the value isn't that high, I would say. And tries to end here. Unfortunately, it's the teleport. Go Hobie that. Puts himself in the corner. That's... Oh, my God. What are these hops, man? And nice dodge. Does not get the punish. And here's the trap. Nice survival, but oh no, Sosu, why were you mashing? Glow will get the first one. Sticking with the Jita. Not many people can play 11 characters, but here we are. Glow versus Sosu. Oh, he tried for the far edge from the get-go, but unfortunately, Dash will exist. So you gotta be careful of that. Not much of the 236 H shown by uh, Sosu so far. And nice dodge, taking a substantial turn here. Yeah, and then the teleport, no confirm of that. Oh man, a lot of players aren't punishing these teleports. Cag players just running through our bracket with these. Confirm. Push the corner. Nice, catching him, trying to get out. DP forced out, that's good. 50 meter gone. And gets it. Trap gone. And there is the super again. Zozu getting that lively. Will he be able to maintain it? Pa, 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 pa. 
Wait, go for the safe jump this time. Goes for the low. No fuzzies in this call, guys. So is it going up and glow. Looking a bit flaky right now. Going for the low dash attack and dodging the rock. One of the best attacks that Kagliosho has again. And oh, tries to get that anti-air, but so, so hard to react. <laughs> Using the long range attacks because he knows uh, Glow is just moving around a lot. I like that decision making. Oh, one up grab. I like it. But no safe jump. He's just going to bait that out. And counter hit gives him a hard knockdown. The low confirm into the Rekka. Look for the super. Puts him in SSB range though, so gotta be careful. Naked neighbor. That's it. And one touch situation. Will he go for the fake jump again? No. Oh! Oh, the boy was he pressing. Okay, nice. I like that. DP. Guys! Dodge the first attack! You gotta do it! <laughs> That was a round loss for Glow, but here we go, chip range. He's gonna go for a teleport, and nice reaction from Zozu. It was so telegraphed that even the commentator knew the teleport was coming. <laughs> oh, man. Where we go, making some distance, setting back, and nice reaction! Finally! Someone is really making use of that. Get that sweep, though. And dodge again, once again, and the punish that is a bit cheeky. Gets thrown to the corner. The safe jump, okay, goes for the low instead. Okay, <laughs> interesting choice. Goes to the side switch. Oh man, the overhead. <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm not sure, but according to them. Their arrivals and that confirm pushes into corner SSB arranged glow can definitely get killed over here and the DP will come through But telegraphed but still fine managed to get it anyway And nice counter hit gotta get more though That one hit is not gonna dissuade him from using it and the grab I saw a grab <laughs> What was the late throw attacking? Nice! Getting that counter hit throw. And the delay DP. Got the jitters over here with Glow. And oh my god, both players are just using their guard cancels non-stop. We're playing Guilty Gear over here, spending our resources. Glow gets thrown and thrown. But that time, he mashes out. The sweep trades. Favorable situation for Glow. Sozu is on life support here, but does not get the confirm. Again, the trade! Both players are scrambling crazy and nice job. Gotta take space for no end here. Where's the dodge, bro? Oh my god. No. All right, Glow gets that second one. What can you do? These players don't know yet. <laughs> but, oh man, what a scrappy match. Every single time I watch this region, it's all scrap. All right, we got winners finals next. Ugh. Let's see. It will be your requiem for this new stuff. You want P2 password, Sui. Your requiem. New stuff. Winners. Finals. And then reset. All right. We are ready. Start whenever. Yep. On his way. <laughs> I hate go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! You play him so much, you can't, you can't tell me you can't react to a J2 to you. That is completely your fault. You dodge it, you hit him out of it, you get a massive counter, and you win. That is completely your fault. Come on, man. You gotta know this. You're, you're, you're... You play him every day! How, how, okay, if I, if I, if I lose to that, I'm gonna be, I was gonna be so annoyed. I'll go to the lab right away. And I'm gonna say, I'm never getting hit by that shit again. Now, nah, Bob no, we don't need to. <laughs> Nerf Kag. I think Kag is OP though. It's just that a lot of, uh, a lot of people don't know how to fight that. Mm. And uh, the current Kag that people play isn't the 
the ones that are really strong, I will say. Currently, is still in the knowledge checky phase of Kagura Yostro. Afterwards, we will see the true horror of that character. Next part, we got Mr. Your Requiem moving from the Sheiks to the Grimnir on Nier. I actually think this matchup is quite okay for Grimnir. And you got the Prismatic. Our eyes are gonna get blinded. Our FPS are gonna tank. Yeah, and here we go. He does know the knowledge checks and goes with the grab. Q. Cha! I love these point signs, man. And look at that prismatic spear. And here we go. That projectile providing that death join that kills death over there. Can't DP that. What are you doing? Not allowed. Oh, he tries to go for the FCG but fails. Guilty Cyclone. <laughs> And goes for the mix. Overhead gets blocked. And I'm not sure if that follow up was worth it. And okay, uses that follow up that kills projectiles. 2 1 for you. And he is good as that here. One mistake to kill. Wait, where's the super? Okay, do it now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, that, that, that was a bit scary. I would have just done the super right away. <laughs> but still, as long as it gets the round, what can I say? Your Requiem taking a lot of control of the match. Just one turn required for near this just, just steam, bro. Nice confirm. Counter hit. And look at that lockdown from Grimnir. No seal set yet. Anti-air fails. Go for the corner combo. Never mind. He's just going to do the BMB, which also applies to the corner. Cross up. Misses the combo. Oh, this will grant Grimnir the mix-up he needs. Uses the ultimate, though. I'm not sure if that's worth because even without the ultimate, you can get a super and then get the same mix-up. Someone did not look at SKD's Twitter. Super. That's what happens if you don't look at SKD's Twitter, you're a Requiem. <laughs> oh, man. New stuff. Getting that one first. Look kind of dicey for him in the beginning. But here we go. This is first to free, remember. So your Requiem does have time to adapt. Okay, nice anti here. Oh, boo guts. And again, using the ultimate. I'm still not a huge fan of using ultimates for combos. Because uh, Grimnir can do so much more. And no raging strike. But still fine. That is not a real DP. Guys, that is not a DP. Despite how it looks. Okay, and that JU. Oh, he's canceled the JU. So he does get that special out. Eight stocks remaining, though, so not the most efficient thing in the world. Still gets it. New stock. There's gonna be quite a huge deal because he only has seven stocks. And not much super meter, so this combo won't grant. Okay, it will barely grant him the super, but he does not recognize that. Ooh, goes for the throw fake and super right away. One health. Definitely doable by Grimnir, but he does not manage to dodge the follow up. I'm okay, never mind. You can dodge if it's true three six uh, right away. Then that will be a minus eight situation. Oh, tries to go for the grab, but throw in bone, guys. Save jump. No, he will go for the fake. And the makes up here. Ten, nine stocks remaining. Quite efficient. Ooh, nah, does not convert off that hit. And another super. And another one health situation for, for your request. Bro is probably tired of that situation again. And the jab. New staff 2 0. One more game needed. Oh, it's first to free, guys. First to free. First to free. Remember. <laughs> yes, it's first to free, guys. Please go back in. You got one more. Oh, never mind. We got a character swap. My bad. I thought he didn't know. A common, common thing for people to not know. And Sheik's can definitely pose a problem in this matchup. With his speed, his agility, and his ability to play neutral against um, any character in the game map. And this is top tier versus top tier, really. And uh, you stop using most of his stocks right away. <laughs> using five stocks just for that. 
Pokemon. And nice fuzzy match, but no confirms after that. Does have access to the super. Your Requiem does not opt for it. Oh, no confirms. That's going to be huge. And that's the EXDP. Nice dodge, no punish. And now we go. EX Wrecker. Oh, nah. Both players weapon froze. No confirms in this time. And that JU does not go punished. What? What was that? <laughs> it gets. Okay, guard cancel. And the end here. No conversions. No raging strikes. And there goes another one. Another ultimate dive. Your Requiem putting up a fight with this character. Okay, that JL was kind of whack. <laughs> Plus frames and nice parry by your Requiem. A nice mash. Oh, that overhead. No, not overhead. Well, people call it the overhead, the upside down kick. Oh, drops that combo, gets thrown to the corner. Quite devastating position. The 11 stocks for new stuff. So he is in the green right now. Yatsuragi yo. And oh, that's the punish. And another one missed. The Requiem is dropping these important moments. All right, dodge again. Oh, counter hit. That's a kill. Pretty sure. Yep. <laughs> that super does so much damage. I don't know with near, but she does a million damage. <laughs> Every time she does super, it surprises me how much damage it does. Plus on block. Went for the delay option. Might be looking for the DP. And the air. Micro dash again. Carries the corner. Oh, nope. Will you use the parry here? No. Guess it instead. Side swap. <laughs> that's that's pretty creative, I would say. And the end here coming through. No raising strike again. And that's a combo. Will you use super right away? No, he just focuses on the carry. I like that decision. Use that super for the end. Also, more utility the later the round goes. Uses that BP. Tries to checkmate him out. That's the punish. No! He misses it! One makes up to kill. The guard cancel does not go through. It tanks it. And... Oh, oh my god! That ultimate dive saves him from the brink of death. Oh, man. That was a bit too close. New staff. Can he wrap up this set? Counter hit. With the stagger close L's. Does not convert that combo, though. And look at that, Sheik's boost speed and the range of the dash out. Just so, so terrifying. Oh, he chooses to use the DP there, but did he go for a grab? I'm not sure. And does it not use Raging Strike to confirm there, but whatever is a perfect for your Requiem. Both players jumping around a lot using that. Nice. I like the jab against that JU. Keep on. Strike throw makes. Oh, catches him. That ender not going to allow him to continue. And the parry. <laughs> what thing allowed him to recover? <laughs> Just going to stop the mix over there. Oh my god. That sweep is so useful. Tries to jump to bait. Gets the hit successfully. We'll get that corner combo. Cash out with the super. And look at that help. Let's put him on the other side. Parry. So the thing about putting him on the other side is that you have to deal with Sheiks in the corner. Combo. Better not drop those. Everybody goes for the reset. One situation left. Oh. Seven. Left. Still very playable. Dive kick is not plus. Zero stocks for real Requiem. Any combo will kill you. Anti or no conversion. DP no punish. Is he looking for a chip? No, no Gamma Blade. This is gonna focus on the dive. Another one! The throw! And there it is! Oh my god! 
the end scuffle. Both players did not want to end at the offer dogs. But intro deals complications to the end game. <laughs> Alright, that's a punish. Don't drop the combo now. Alright, he drops it. But to the corner. 63 meters. Still very manageable. Gets the killed of that parry. Still 14 stocks though. And I really like that. Your equipment is just putting out fast normals in neutral to stop that. But that two run for you. Oh, huge dive. That is so much damage. Okay, I'm trying to look for the counter pull. That is punishable. But he does not manage to match that fault. And void claws. Will he be able to do it? The cross up. Yatsuragi yo. Does not get enough meter, but look at that chip damage. Just gonna guarantee that. And that dodge! No parries! I thought he was gonna parry there, but one situation, and that will be the finish. New stop will wrap the set up and send your Requiem to the loser's side. Very, very close match. Once he swapped to the Sheiks, it was trouble, honestly. <laughs> so let's see. New stop. Will be in grand finals again not the first time he's in grand finals and i think he has been in grand finals and for more than one occasion that more than one game in fact so we got loser semis right here so it'll be seo versus glow is this a this is a rematch p1 p2 password zui glow seo so this will be a loser semis And loser semis onwards. First free. The fuck six. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you whiff the button in neutral. You're just, you're just gonna die, you know. Easy. Yes, mister. Say, oh, he just... What? What? what, what? Do you guys see that? He just... He was talk He was like emoting in front of me. And just, bro just teleported into the... Bra the, 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 the... The... The cabinet. Paranormal SWAT activity. <laughs> All right, Mr. Seo versus Glow over here. Using that projectile to get that advantage off, but Glow does get managed to get a hit. Man, Cagliostro does quite a bunch of damage, but I don't think Cagliostro really needs to use the rock to delete the projectile over there because he can just stock up while deleting it. And of all the hits, he doesn't confirm that. Okay, nice whip punish from Seo, but does not get that. Still managed to get the Wrecker off into the super early cash off BP depletion. One of the strengths of characters that don't really need um, need to use ultimate skills. Jito uses more than Gran, I would say, but they both have the characteristic of not needing to use a lot. Did not manage to punish that, and the spikes will do a substantial amount of damage. As Magna, oh my God, that killed! Jesus Christ, man! Hey, super jump does not use the Ju. Probably looking for something else, but the teleport will allow him to connect to the other trap. And the so wow, Seo just took his turn right there. Not enough distance for Glow to close him, but that sweep will net him nicely and nice DP on the other side. Nothing Charlo uh, nothing uh, Cagliostro can do about it. So that's the thing I've been saying. Uh, Glow has been playing quite a risky playstyle, but it is working out. So who is he to blame? Then the hard knockdown. And look at the amount of damage that goes for. The strike does count as a hit. So, oh, that's a punish, but no. Okay, at least goes for the sweep. Forced to use that, but the thing is, Guard Cancel also causes ship damage, so Seo has to watch out. Oh man, and the recovery of the teleport, allowing Glow to just jab him out earlier. In victory. One. And the dodge will get him punished for that counter hit recovery, remember, guys? And Kagliostro, just such a nuisance. In the neutral game, you got spikes, you got rocks to deal with. 
Oh, tries to end here, but the aerial 236 baits him out. And oh, that's a confirm. That's a perfect. Glow looking really nice now. Oh, guess that sweep. Nice delay. I like that. Does not get that combo though. And nice mash. Punish just a sweep with his own and delay. Close H. Gonna go for the side swap, I assume. Sona Tedoka. And charges up the rock. One of the most annoying and all purpose buttons in the game. You can't just project out her because she can stock up and cancel yours. Buffers the ice spike. Oh, the dunk. And G, the strength. Corner carry. Drops the combo, though. That's gonna be huge. But at least in the next touch, Seo will manage to kill. Oh my god, that is gonna be huge. Goes with a reliable combo. And that's that. Ogi! Oh, wait! It drops! Too high. Or combo limit. I did not see it, admittedly. And rising is all the. And, oh, did he manage to dodge it? Nice! There we go. Yeah, I call it combo limited. Air counts as a juggle. And look at that. Even when he whips. Oh, Uchiyo does. Manages to get a hit, and that wasn't even a punish, so. Oh my god, dash out pressure. No confirms, guys. Oh, nice. Goes for the light. Dash out. Ooh, and the mash into the buffer. That's basically what Glow does at this point when he's getting pressure. He's just gonna press a button, buffer 214H or 214 uh, or Raging Strike. Hope for the best. <laughs> That's how he plays right now. And yeah, you see? Even the Abari, he's just gonna force the situation. The problem is, if he gets hit right now, he's good as dead. Even Jita will kill. And EX. Oh! Yeah, that's gonna hurt! Let's see how much this does. I think he's at one health. One touch. Oh! Tries to shimmy him out. It's gonna spook him. The thing is, Seyo. Oh, nice DP. Saw that forward advancing. Not gonna allow him to cheese him out. Nice. G making use of Jita's uh, 4L. One of the few buttons in vanilla, actually. And, okay. He does not do a reversal, so... He's gonna eat this combo. Com the... The cooldowns are gonna come back in time for that. Gonna block that. Will he look for a teleport? I can smell it, but okay, I'm not sure what he pressed there. He definitely pressed the button, but there goes the super. <laughs> Saving BB for next game, that's true. <laughs> for next worlds, you mean? <laughs> uh here we go, Seo is showing si uh, signs of life over here, and nice dash out. Gonna bring him all the way to the corner. Dun, dun. Can fit him one more hit of the auto combo over there. Oh, dunk! You don't get away bad that easy. Ignore the person playing Resident Evil in the corner. Dun. Yeah, no buffer that time. And look at that, once again, Glow is just... He's not even confirming at this point. He's just wish confirming. And that's the thing. DP. Oh, wait. What? I saw the... Oh, no. Nah, this is bad. Goes for the overhead, but does not get any substantial reward off it. Goes for the grab. Sayo, can you react to the next thing? The dodge. Ah. Close. Still forcing the scrambles. No fear. Trusting his own way of playing. That's a solid idea, Dunk. And goes for the grab, solid, baby. Eh? And the fake jump, low. And anti air, solid. Teleports to the other corner. Go for the spike. No, just gonna go for double spin. And puts himself in the corner. This is not good. Gonna say he'll have to chase this. 
And look at that, those light buttons, Cagliostro. Despite having all those spikes and all. Still good at neutral, perfectly fine. Pushes to the corner, saying it was a one duck situation. Kiraku! Brock's that! No! He can't not get the punish! Oh, man. Now he probably knows he will be using a simpler move, I guess. I'm not sure. That's not dash M, that's dash H. Oh, uh, no, this is first to, first to free. First to free, first to free. Loser semis onwards is uh, first to free. Mm. So, Sayo's probably switching to near, I assume. <clears throat> yep, most definitely. Oh, I know, it's Jita. He's sticking to the Jita. Hmm. So this will be match form for Glow on two. Dunk and the low. Will Seo manage to come back? The thing is, <clears throat> we are. Oh no, that's not enough. Go <laughs> hobby that. That's your reward. Oh, okay, tries to show me the late attack from Seo. Oh, dunk. You don't take your turn that easily. And that counter hit baited again. So still has all of his cooldowns ready in case Glow does anything funny and he does connect the hit. At that point, it is a specialty. Just wish confirm. What card are you playing to? <laughs> Roy is wishing that hit hits and he gets a combo out of it, man. That's crazy. And okay, that cross up gets and here by the two way to signature grand blue stuff. Oh man, just so rough in that corner. Nice, I like that. Still getting that dunk. Super will be online in the next hit. Taking labor. POV, you're grinding too much. And Grand Blue, and you have actual ascendant weapons. Okay, nice. I like the walk back. But oh my god, regardless of where the screen is, as long as it's on block, he would just do it. And there we go. Oh, okay, he does not get any of that. Seo does not punish either. That would be nice. He is dead. Oh man, here we go. I already told you guys, Sozu. You play him every day! <laughs> Gotta listen to the commentators now! <laughs> uh. Lysing this all though, keeps his cooldowns ready. Still has the EX Fireball ready. Going back in. Super is ready, so... So, Glow again with his... Patented... Just mash... Into a special cancel or Raging Strike. That low is punishable! Does not confirm it, and now using the Raging Strike in the corner. What combo will you go for? Teleport back? No, he's just gonna jump to the other side. Not too plus over there, but Sayo holding still. Oh, bad dash timing. Gets clipped there, but he is in SSBA range, so... Glow does not end here. That was crucial. Look at the amount of space Sayo has created back for himself. Oh, no confirm. No confirm again. Here we go! He tries to jump out! That's super! Oh my god! Okay, that's one health left. Sayo, will he just play patient like how he usually does? Goes away! Yep! That's the Sayo we know, alright? Forcing Glow to come back in. He does not need to fight. He has 20 seconds to make something happen. But can he do it? This is match point for Glow. Oh no! That's the super! And he actually gets it! Oh my god! Does not react in time! Not the close edge! I think he used the light button instead, but... Oh nah. That was so unexpected. He was completely ready for that teleport, but... Ooh, that sucks. That sucks.
Oh, God. Sayo gets knocked out in fourth place, if I'm not wrong. But here we go. GG's to both of them. Close matches. How does he get away with this? No, it's not unreactable. It's very reactable. But uh, don't know if it's net play. If it's delay, who knows? So next one will be your Requiem. Uh, they're sitting already. They're like, not waiting for me. You know, not letting me like fucking cool off the match. You know, I got to explain it to the people. Let people soak the, oh my God. Like match, match results in, you know? Come on guys. You don't have to start right away. Glow just finishes match too, but he's like, let's play the next one. Now you see, I'm not even telling them to play. All right, whatever. Your Requiem, please punish his ass. I'm not joking. I'm going to cry. For the past two tournaments, CAG players have gone away with too much. Okay, that's unsafe. No punishment. You see? Oh my god. We the slop fest over here. Teleport. Tries to get that grab. Trap does pose a threat though. Overhead, not seeing that coming. The Dragon Ball has overhead. <laughs> so slow that you can't react to it. But Glow gets counter here over there in the corner. Drops the combo once again. Your Requiem. How about you just do an easier combo, you know? Like, just stop it at Requiem 2. Okay, that's a full combo. Does have 6 claw execution. EX ready. Healthy amount of damage. Ooh. Combo. Super. Ah, yeah, you see, you can have just done that combo. Like, it's way easier. Just don't do it. <laughs> just don't drop the combo. Such an annoying character. You know she's annoying. Go hobby that. Oh, nice. Gets that hit, but no confirm. Quite important. Especially when Kagliostro is in the corner. She has to use something funny to escape. Do we see the fuzzy jump? And look at that. I knew it. <laughs> the jab into the teleport. One thing to know, Glow is a man who would do anything just to escape a situation. You will mash and buffer a hit even if it's not safe. And okay, Dash out gets that hit. No, just no punish. Oh no. I thought he would go for a parry over there. At that point, a lot of people should have been seeing those matches. And look at that match! Just so risky. Will he go for the throw bait? No. Dive? Okay, he can dodge in time, I'm pretty sure. Ooh! Going for the Raging Strike. The Requiem taking one first. Style points. Oh, whack ass makes up detected! Whack ass makes up detected! And look at that buffer. No one's reacting in time. That's why everyone's getting hit. Teleport? No. Okay, misses that. Actually, he just got hit by that. Super? Going for the knockdown instead. That's substantial amount of damage. And right now, one touch situation. Your Requiem only need one more hit. Or you can just play patient, wait for him to buffer something like here. Yes. And then teleport, hit him back. Yes. Thank you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I like read the, read the sequence like a book, bro. <laughs> I was saying it right before it happened. Uh oh, he tried to air grab. Guilty gear player spotted. Oh, man. A nice backdash. That's pretty unique option, but he tries to hit him as he steps on the trap. Unfortunate. That's Kagliostro for you. Guess that grab. Strike throw makes up super threatening, fuzzy mashing glow. What are you doing? Will you go for the super or the cheap knockdown? You will go for the super. Come, come. 94 meter. Reversal inbound. Oh, man. Everyone is getting clipped by those spikes just so hard to deal with and there goes the super and that's so much damage Ding. Not quite game over yet, Kali Ostro. You have to deal with a Sheiks Ooh. 
Oh, gets the throw. Nice. Throws into the corner. I like that choice. Guard cancel. Oh, inflict some chip damage, but it's not nowhere enough. And there goes the ultimate dive into the second round for your Requiem. None of your funny business over here. Will Glow truly face his Requiem here? I was cooking that joke. Holy shit. <laughs> Jump! Okay, he doesn't go for the cross up. Again, one of those buffer buttons not ca caught, not using the guard button. <laughs> oh, no gumpers! Throws in the corner, that's fine. Will Glow Fuzzy Mash again? Oh, punish! Wait, no! Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's use that <laughs> just raging strike. Closing some signs of life over here, using a lot of resources trying to get out. I'm starting to suspect that the counter hits were him trying to either buffer a button and then special, or just him trying to raw teleport outside. I'm very curious now. But right, here we go. The super is available, and okay, does not offer the raging strike. But here we go. Oh, no end here. He does have the parry to get ready. Oh, okay, ultimate parry. You don't see that that often. And again, the hop. He got caught there, though, so he must have mashed something. Oh, what is this? Oh, my God. The slop. That's rising, all right. The slop gods. <laughs> what is happening, bro? You're right, Quim. Dropping one too close. Still in an advantage. And playing more aggressive now. Okay, you can't get away with that forever. And here's. Force with the tick throw. And nice. I like that choice with the delay button with how much glow likes to press. And crouch confirmed with the crouch. Uh, with the close light into close heavy. Super. No, he would just go for the. Oh, oh that connects. Oh my god. That was a good combo. My bad. <laughs> That was a good combo, man. <laughs> Sheiks does have damage in this game because of Raging Strike. And another... Another one bites the dust as he uses the guard, does not use the guard button. A nice parry reaction from your Requiem. I like that choice. Tries to go for throw, not quite in range. And jumping the rock glow in the corner once again. When will he press? The late button's gonna work so well against him. Oh, he actually pressed! And oh my god, he's not confirming of any of those. And I like the choice, but what? Ah, uh, well, guys, gotta read the docs. Oh, Koku kid, 50 meter. No, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, Requiem, why are you just starting to bash buttons randomly? He has to control his demons. can't just use uh, <laughs> whatever button you want. I, I know Sheik's is easy, but uh, you, you gotta control yourself a little bit. Alright, get that confirmed in the corner, but no wall bounce. Not sure what the rationale behind that was, but super is gonna be available soon. And, whoa, he sweeped both of the traps away at <laughs> once. That was not what I was expecting. But still, Glow gets the corner and the combo. That's the trap. And that's the super. Asu Magna! Oh! Wait for the dash normal! That's super! Oh my god, the damage! Yo, cousin! Oh, what gets left? And the counter hit! Glow mashes once again! And he will finally get knocked out. This is why you don't mash randomly. Like, I mean, like, everyone is like getting away with that, but they're letting him get away with that. And finally, the Titan has fallen. No more gimmicks, sir. Ah, <laughs> uh, top tier only at the top. Yes, that's true. So far, finally, at Grand Finals, we got Yusuf versus your Requiem. Your Requiem. 
So let me put him at losers first. Okay. So let me call him in. New star versus your requiem. P1, P2, pause, where should we? <laughs> da, 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 da. Stand proud, you are strong. <laughs> nah, now nah, you see, I'd win. Like, I, I need to, I need to like get the whole, whole stuff. Like, whole GG is guys ain't fit down. You know the funny thing is in our server we have been like doing JJK rewatches. No, not rewatches, like group watches, my bad. And then like the first time we saw domain expansion, we're like, oh my god! He said it! Domain expansion! Oh my god. Like that's just so funny, man. Like we already the thing is right. Jujutsu Kaisen spoilers, like memes are so everywhere that you basically know the entire story at this point. Oh man. Uh, it was all like it was, it was just a meme fest. But getting back to the match, we get a top tier versus top tier according to everyone. New staff on the near, your requiem on the sheiks. Let's watch this. Our grand finals for tonight. Oh my god, I timed that transition. <laughs> oh nah, that button was too high up too early. Both players just jumping around at the start. And near. When will the parry come? That's the question. And nice, being patient. And the jab, nice, that's a good way to knowledge like someone. The thing about Nier is that you can punish a lot of her moves. Just some RPS between canceling or not. And the DP! And nice, Joe's the meter and Bishop Rod does not get the conversion. And again, your Requiem seems to really depend on that dive to cash out his damage. So I'm not sure that's sustainable. But he is getting the hits and he's getting the throws. He's threatening that, but this will hurt so much. But he does not get the conversion. New stop will die for this. A lot of uh, drop GP conversions there. Ended up wasting a lot of those love redemption stocks. That's a combo. And then the mix up. And yeah, there's the low. But that mix up is not that strong. He's spending he's spending it for the follow-up after the medium slash. And it tends to knock people away. And you don't really need it. And there goes the super. Three stocks left. Safe jump and ah, the run up reset catching the fuzzy mash. New staff looking solid this round. Battle three. Engage. And look at that, her normals are just so big, so fast. Okay, never mind, he just jumps in at the right time. Sheik's getting that conversion in the corner. Can't drop, can't afford to drop this man. Still forces one BP out of near and nice close edge stopping his reset advances. He does have the super, so you don't want to drop this. Oh, wait. Okay, he's going to wait to cash out later. Maybe to finish off the round. Or maybe just save up for 2 2 you. I'm not sure. The cross-up makes him out of the corner. Oh, nah. The punish. That's a full combo with SSBA. Could have done a bit more damage. Still half health. Six stocks remaining. Quite healthy. Nice. Save jab. Yatsuragiyo! And one mix up left. Nah. This time does not go for the high low mix up over there and ends up paying for it. That will be the, the first game to your Requiem. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Yeah, and the true box strings. The thing is, uh, against that 236 L, you can dodge it, so near is punishable at minus 8. Yeah, and nice. Does not convert the full punish, though. Think your Requiem was not ready for that far normal to hit. Ah, oh, here we go, but wrong combo. Still manages to get a hit afterwards. And dropping the combo once more, and the parry super will come out. Seven stocks remaining. Very healthy for a comeback. And that's the parry. Gotta be careful of those. And your Requiem is actually just fearless, you know? He has been doing those close L's into the close H's. One DP and he's gone. 
Oh, nice for H, and that just absolutely blasts new stuff. New Stars mix-ups aren't the most solid. He hasn't been going for those high lows, no variable timings. He's just waiting for the follow-up swipe. And there goes the crouch dash out confirmed. Go for the ender. Throw. And the reject. Gotta watch out. Oh, nice. Just absolutely stops it at both players. Very willing to press buttons. Your Requiem super available. Oh man, and that will kill very, very cleanly. Your Requiem getting the second one out of here. This Grand Finals looking like a reset, boys. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Very clean by uh, your Requiem too. Well, I, I, okay, clean as in he has gone two games. It's still a bit scrambly, and it will, I would be lying if, if I said it wasn't scrambly, because look at this. We have quarter position switches three times within the past 10 seconds. And there goes the sweep. And nice. Getting the grab. Ooh. And <laughs> caught trying to press that, and he does it again. <laughs> Just going to press 2SU. Going for the frame traps. And the mash! Was your Requiem trying to go for... Oh, I'm not sure what he was trying to go for. Still thinking. It wasn't a counter hit, so it wasn't a throw, but he gets pushed to the corner just for that mistake. And here goes the Gargazzo. Don't want to deal with your shenanigans again. Throw him in the corner. When will the DP come? Will it come? Just mashes afterwards. New Stop knows that your Requiem is being very wary. Did he press dodges successfully? Choosing the light buttons. And here we go. Will New Stop finally fetch one game from himself? Misses the conversion, but still gets the hit afterwards. This fight and look at the damage from that 5U hit. But so New Stop getting clipped here and there a lot. And look at that. Reset! Reset as in the situation, but the, he gets that. Both sides. He does not offer the side swap. Okay, he just goes for the super. We'll put him behind. That is fine, but no Oki again. And puts him at zero, so. Oh, does he punish it? No, that's too far. Okay, never mind. That's an unclean hit. Guard cancel right away. He chooses to jump. He does not offer the guard cancel. I'm not sure what it was trying to do. Because if it's throw, you can fuzzy jump. This game has wake up throw protection too. So new staff potentially forfeiting the win here and preventing the reset point. But here we are, the counter hit comes through. But no confirms. Mix up. He goes for two specials again, and look at that. Just allowing your Requiem to take back his turn at the cost of one BP. He has not been getting any of these mix-ups down. Oh, nah. No escape. And the grab. Wow. Oh, no. Your Requiem in a pickle right now. Gets that super done. Okay, he doesn't even need it. He just does that 2H and he's dead. New staff getting one back for himself. Looking. Looking. Okay. No, I wouldn't say he's the best right now. But he's in an alright spot. I would say. Gets that confirmed. Makes up. Will he finally go for the high low? Did it a bit late. And the oh the end here. Do you guys remember the the end debug and <laughs> Goody Gears drive? It looks just like that when you hit in the air. <laughs> ooh, ooh. that sounds so visceral. It sounds like there's actual blood being swiped through and the guard. Oh wait, okay. There goes the DP with the armor. Ooh, okay. Safe jump. Never mind. Okay, both players just scrambling around. 
New South getting his death killed, and the JU does not get fully punished. We got no hit confirms in this. Oh man, there's like we are missing confirms here and there. We're still in Grand Blue Southeast Asia. All right, guys. <laughs> Okay. Oh, sorry. And Frozen a bit too far. And oh, the counter hit. This is gonna hurt. Please go for a proper mix up. Ooh. There goes one of his Raging Strike stocks. Thought he could punish that. And nice bash. I like that idea. Going for that early cash out. But only six stocks. Dodge? No, he just continues to bash. And another forage. Your request has been getting so many hits with those, but again, no wall bounce. Oh, he's getting so much value out of this. And he even has enough to raging strike into the uh, follow up. New stop, bring it back. Two to two. Your request, filling the nerves. Okay. And another failed conversion. And that JU does not go cleanly punished once more. He really needs to use that far out to convert, man. Oh, the grab whip. True makes up, guys. And again. Oh, man. New staff is just using so much. So many stocks for such small conversions. I'm not sure if this is worth it. Because your Requiem can take advantage of the moment he does not have stocks but he got that anti air super it's gonna do a lot of damage and there we go new stop on tournament point on the near just so scary to throw out a button against cheeks he runs so fast in neutral and no he's in the corner ready teleport back Ooh. and pulls back gets jabbed out New stop defending for his life, man. That actually had your Requiem delay tech. And death is available now. Will he go for the parry? Air to air. Conversion. Goes for the knockdown first. Punish into the corner. This is not a good situation. No punish. You gotta let this happen. The DP is not real. New staff might lose off this, but he does have the parry ready. One parry is all he needs. And look at that. He's been very... Your Requiem has been super wary of that. Willing to block out that box trick. And we go to reset point and tournament point at the same time for these two players. The dash shells are coming through. New staff is being extra cautious. Guess that sweep. This is huge. Parry goes through. No. Not available anymore. Plus, plus. And that's the punish. That's going to be so much damage. Makes up. Oh, nah, he's using so many stocks, but he gets the super here. One more situation for new stop. Wake up, grab your Requiem. 100 meter available. Will he make this a comeback? Guess that confirm and the finish. New stop will end the first on card. And his favor being the second time winner. Good job, new stop. I have to get him in the call again. Woo! Alright, let me get this guy in. Du -du 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 -du. New stuff. Get in the call. And by the way, guys, uh, don't exit the Don't exit the the stream yet. We got one more thing. Tradition. Hello. Okay, wait, give me a second. Alright, new stuff. Hello, welcome. Hello, hello. Previously you have joined the Melty. You won the Melty one with Noel, I remember. Yep. You played in the exhibition, mm -hmm. the 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 yeah, strive yeah. exhibition. Mm -hmm. You kind of got memed on though. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know the thing, yeah. funny thing is right the the the, the chasing scene of that um, of that uh, in my commentary. It ended up being one of the highlights that made people chose me. So thank <laughs> you for the clip. <laughs> but here we go. You won two events in two different games so far. I think. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. congratulations. So what do you think of versus rising so far? Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, 
just uh, some minor problems there, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's really fun. Great game. <laughs> <laughs> quite scrambly in your sense there. Quite flaky, may I say. A bit spooky here and there. <laughs> oh, man. So, congratulations. Uh, our session is not done yet, as you guys know. we got tradition to, to behold. So, let me exit this. Again, congratulations, new staff. If you have to go to another call or something, please do. But uh, the, I will be in this call if anyone wants to enter. Because we'll be going to online lobby. I don't know if we have enough space for the lobby. We'll be going for selfie session. Yes. So uh, this lobby has... I don't think we have enough slots. If 40 people enter, then we won't have enough. But I believe not all 40 people will come out. So come first come, first serve, okay? Like <laughs> Asia lobby free. Come, come, guys. <laughs> Good work. Yes, indeed. Okay, so um, let me think. Where should where do you think we should take the photo in? Uh, let's go to. Uh, let's go to the stairs. You know how like um, you know how like uh, group photos they are always on the stairs and shit. We do that. <laughs> the thing is, I don't know if the back angle is better or the this angle is better. I think this angle is quite good. <laughs> you comment, guys. Give me some spots. <laughs> You want the football field? Do you guys want the football field? Do you think the football field is better? Tell me, tell me, chat. Do you want, do you want it on the stairs or the football field? Football field or no? Like football field, yes. Stairs, no. Just type. Sky Island. It will take too long for people to get up there. Okay. <laughs> uh, lobby free. Open lobby free. So we we do foot we do football field or no guys you gotta tell me And I'm in the chat if anyone wants to hop on stream and uh talk about uh, talk about random stuff or just make make some noise lol mm. No need football Oh it stairs good right We're like peak tourist uh trap attraction Sorry let, let me get on top of here Let me find a good angle for this. Okay, I'll be standing in the middle, so don't block me. Because I need that Jita face to show. <laughs> Guess you're on Lily touching grass. Come come guys. We'll like wait for a bit more for the people to enter. Tell me if you're still loading in the game. We're in lobby free. We have a lot of people this time, so do come in. <laughs> Remember, we got a GBVS selfie session. We are in Asia lobby free. Mm. Mm. Yeah, just waiting for people to come in. Still have quite a few slots. Got fade here. You guys gotta, don't gotta block me. You guys gotta move. You can sit at the front. No, you gotta crouch on the front. Wow, we got a lot of pigs here. <laughs> and do not ever go into the menu because it will show paused. <laughs> Next time we can take a photo of the ship instead. <clears throat> Let's see, why is Magasu facing the wrong way? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, not me, man. So let me, let me show you guys real quick what it looks like. You gotta show the clone. Okay, bro. <laughs> All right, Tom. Get the people in. Come, come. Come help. Selfie. <laughs> Asia lobby free. We're gonna wait a while more. Meanwhile, you guys can type in the chat all your grievances about the game. How near is OP? How the rank system is broken? How the matching system is absolutely useless? You guys can stand closer, by the way. The names are a bit cluttered in this game, and as she stopped going into the menu. <laughs> Plus, minus zero is not gonna fix anything, I'll tell you that much. Let me put the clap emote. Stick a bit closer, guys. 
I want you to show a close family between each other. As long as you don't block my face, I'll show you guys on the stream. I want symmetrical. I want the people at the back to be seen also. <laughs> Valteria, move a bit closer. <laughs> Yes, sit. <laughs> They're just doing push-ups now. All right, are you all ready? Or are other people uh, coming in? Whoops, I don't know where to adjust the chat size. <laughs> where do you adjust the chat size now? Ah! <laughs> I fucking jumped. Where do you adjust the chat size now? I can't see my face, get out! <laughs> Oh, come down, guys. I can't see everyone. People are still loading in. Oni, you're at the back. You're too short. <laughs> stand on the box. Okay, never mind. He, he wants to stand in here. <laughs> Cozy. Okay, we'll give him one more minute before we take the photos. I don't know how to shrink the chat settings, by the way. How do you shrink the chat? Someone tell me real quick. Can you hide the chat? No, you can't. Oh my god. What a shame. Okay. We just have to take a screenshot. Okay. The bottom row has to go up above the chat line. I'm, for, I'm sorry guys. I don't know. I don't know how don't don't know how to fix that. But you have to be above or equal to me. There are some holes to the right, so move there. Yes. And you stop at the back, all right? Oh, or you can stand on the box on there. All right, we'll take in a few seconds. All right, we'll take it out. Three, two. Let me take a screenshot. Woo! SJ is uh, down there, so we'll crop that out later. You press L three? No, I don't think you can. Press L three does this for me. All right, just a deal is moving. <laughs> Okay, we need to take one more. Okay, I got his, I got his salute sign. All right, GDs everyone. Thanks everyone for coming. And uh, before I go, we, I got one more thing to show you guys. Valteria and some OG people will know this, but this transition is truly golden. So uh, before I go, we'll announce our next tournament. Uh, it is bi-weekly. So, as always, see you guys next time, and as always, have a bagger. Check this transition out as I leave. <laughs>